Welcome back. We are doing all signs Aries through Pisces. Keep in mind, if it is not your story, acknowledge, move on, check your other placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Venus, not Venus. This is for newbies. I put these cards out to give you an idea on how I do read the cards for you. You get four readings of one, starting with fire, air, water, earth. So there's four chances that something might resonate. Your energy will be put at the top, not today. Sometimes I choose to do it separately per element, and that's what I'm doing today. We're doing elemental quick keys, so it should be a little bit faster. However, not going to do much clarification today because me and the Noah monster, my Scooby-Doo, are having our Easter egg coloring and oh it's usually a mess and all kinds of fun so when I flip a card and say what's their damage okay ooh, perfect example we have the five of wands okay so if they if I say what is the what is the damage what is the blockage what is the problem here I'm actually going to flip it so like in this case it could be somebody not accepting an apology or feeling remorseful or agreeing to disagree or not necessarily getting along but trying to make the best of it or kind of coasting through it, ignoring the problem. So that just kind of gives you an idea. All right. Um, I think that's all I want to say. So small dad story. Anybody that is new that doesn't want to hear the dad story, just go ahead and click on your sign. They are time stamped below and pinned in comments. Okay, the dad story. He thought the bathroom was in the, the kitchen and I'm thinking you are not peeing in my garbage. Seriously, you are not peeing in my, I really had to rewrote him. And he changed the clock on the microwave thinking that he was adding time. So that was, I'm like, it is sad. <laughs> However, he actually laughed at that one. So I figured if he laughed at it, I can share it with you guys because that's fair game then. We did up his iron tablets because of his iron being so low. It's crazy from all the blood loss. It is the lowest that it has been um, in the last 10 months, and that's when we started having the problems with uh, the, the blood issues and the incredible uh, amount of ratio for a, a marker in the blood, and I won't get too crazy. Yeah, I actually kind of already overdid it, didn't I? It's the nurse in me, guys. Can't help it. So Dad's stable right now, sometimes using the wheel walker, and a lot of times spouting off of the mouth. And I'm thinking a good way to keep that tongue from bleeding, since you poked it, um, instead of poking the bear, because I just got a picture of him sleeping. I'm so naughty. I'm so naughty. I'm like, here's proof, Father, that yes, you do fall asleep in your chair. Yes, you do. Now, why do we have a neck ache? Hmm, can't fathom. Um, but that's just for fun. All right, now I, he can't dial the phone anymore by himself, so that's kind of a new issue. Um, there's always a new issue. <laughs> there's always a new issue. Right now, it's my mother's, my mother, her birthday, and he didn't remember today, so I'm actually not bringing it up. Uh, so that he doesn't he's a little crabby so maybe he does more than I think and had already thought about it but I'm bringing it up if he don't bring it up so the white devil mensch has actually been behaving fairly well um, he does have this permanent furrow in the middle of his forehead where he looks crabby all the time and when the nurses said that they or the doctor wanted to keep him overnight <laughs> for observation and then possible PT intervention. I'm like, he doesn't have a problem standing. It's because his god dang blood is so freaking low. It's got nothing. No, you're not keeping him overnight because he'll end up killing one of your nurses because he is a smoker and he will be trying to get the hell out of there and he'll leave against medical advice. We have done the ADA before against medical advice. A M A. Sorry, my bad. Anyway, rambled on too much as I usually do. Trying to keep these a little bit shorter today. That's a challenge. Ha ha ha. All right, so we are time stamping here. I'm actually enjoying the hell out of my brother getting a lecture right now. I just have to add this in here because I'm naughty. He's getting the, you need to read your Bible. I think as we get older, we start being a little bit more serious about our uh, belief systems. And he has turned into Bible Thumper USA. You read your Bible. Yeah, I'm like, okay, you know what? I got the whole thing down with Revelation. And I don't think that we're going to have to worry about anything today or tomorrow. So just chill out. But yeah, Thumper's at it. 
and my brother needs it. He needs it, so it's a good laugh because it's like he's the older brother and he's actually the dumber person. Intelligently, very remarkable, off the charts, almost genius level, but common sense. I'm enjoying it anyway. Okay, Aries. Aries, if you are dealing with another Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, source, what is that person? How do they see Aries? How do they think about them? All right. Two came out. So we've got the Eight of Wands and the Two of Wands. So that's basically somebody that's trying to decide how to come at you to talk to you. This is somebody that might be thinking about a reconciliation, but it's like the goal is to get you to change your mind possibly and want to talk to them. How do they feel? Feelings. Feelings. All right, they feel like you're kind of putting your foot down and saying, uh-uh, or that you're very intolerant. And their action, they don't care what it, it's like. They're going to win at all costs. It, it is somebody that's kind of trying to bite their tongue a little bit, but they might be having some, you know, issues because they feel like you're really guarded. It's like, how do I come at Aries? What do I need to do? I would like to try to work things out. Wanting to open up communication. That's also that they think that there's no barriers towards you. Seriously, there must be if they feel like you're putting up a big stink. Seriously. So what's the black edge? One more. I'm here. Hard. All right. Th this is looking like they gave up too 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 soon, and you're kind of taking a, a break. It's like I need to think about this. You give up too easily. I need I need to think about it. I put all the work into this, and right now I just need some time by myself. So this is basically this person wanting to kind of have it out with you. And they could be thinking about the argument that you had and being a little bit resentful about it. But they're kind of holding back until you want to open up communication. So they do want to try to talk and work things out. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. One more. Okay. All right. Why the Ace of Swords? Ooh, this person wants to come clean, come clean with you. They want to confess their emotions and any regrets that they've had. All right, they feel kind of out of place. They feel like they're not good enough. And they feel like you are just trying to keep your distance from them. Their action is learning a lesson. But are they, okay, that's nice and everything. Maybe they got a, you know, how to behave 101 book. But they're just sitting there not doing any damn thing. They are thinking about this. What's the blockage? Okay, what's this one? All right, so there's definitely a feeling of regret, and I don't know if I want to move on, and I thought I could, and now I don't think I could. I wanted to move on, but I don't feel like I can. I'm a failure. I can't do it. Wah, wah, poor me. And they're feeling sorry for themselves. They're just sitting under the tree waiting for the apples to hit them on the head while well, they're going to have sudden, a sudden epiphany if they... What, they also could have gotten bored and walked away, and now they're regretting having done that. How do you see them? Because I'm nosy. All right. So you feel like they keep secrets. Secrets. Secrets aren't good. Uh-uh. And then you're wondering who they're paying attention to. It's like, yeah, you know, I know what you kind of do on the side that you don't think that I know. This feels like somebody that could be like an undercover flirt needs to come clean. They do want to tell you what's going on. But they feel like they might end up by themselves because you aren't going to buy any of their shit. Here, this would tell me that you're kind of being eh, judgmental and ready to just, you know, like, I will bite you. Just come at me. I'll hear you out, but I know what your secrets are. There's trust issues with this person. You feel like they're kind of keeping things hush-hush and under their, you know, collar type thing. So they are waiting it out. I've learned my lesson. I can commit now, whatever the case may be. But they're kind of sitting in limbo waiting for you waiting to reach out to you, but it does have a sense of, I want you to know everything. Um, they might have gotten caught, and now they know they got to come up with the truth and nothing but the truth, so help me God, or they're going to get their head ripped off. But they're just in the, the idea of wanting to talk to you. So what their approach is, don't know. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right person sees that you've kind of given up on them. They feel like the two of you still have something very special. 
They don't want the freedom. They want their wishes to come true. This is somebody that might be doing a, hey, I'm going to kiss your ass and meeting your expectations. This could be that they're wanting to make your wish come true, but it's more about them because they feel like you've just kind of given up. It could be that they also would like to see you, would like to see you being more open. What's a blockage here? All right. Okay. All right. So we got somebody that failed to be honest. And now they're acting like a little schmuck tard because they're all talk, no action, acting kind of sketchy. Where you're going, what are you really up to? And why does this have to keep happening? The Wheel of Fortune reverse, it's like continually having a bad outcome. Setback after setback, feeling hopeless, feeling like this person's never completely honest with you or that they act sketchy because they're up to something and you feel like you have to possibly watch their phone and what are they up to? And yes, you could have found out what they were doing. Your energy towards this person. Ooh, you're so not so happy. One more. Okay. I mean, you do love this person. However... <laughs> You're like, if you're thinking that you're getting any makeup sex from me, you have got another thing coming. I, you are still on the outside. You are still in the doghouse. You've given me the feeling of rejection and abandonment. There's still emotions here. It's like I have the urge to want to, you know, slap the shit out of you first. Because the Knight of Swords comes in really quick. And that can be quickly coming in to care for this person and try to make things stable because you do have feelings for them. This can be a quick apology as well. And you're kind of going, where is it? Where, where is it? They need to put the work into this connection and stop being a little snake on the side and making you feel uncomfortable because it's things that you feel like they need to be more open, more honest. Like they're closed mind and they're deceptive or they're gossipy or you start hearing things behind their back and you're kind of going, so is this true too? I mean, there's a feeling of not really trusting it, you know, coming up with your own opinions based on other people's suggestions, based on other people's gossip. And, you know, you have the idea that this person is looking for forgiveness but not doing a damn thing yet. I would say that their action is trying to make you happy trying to meet your expectations, trying to be more reliable, but you're going, okay, you know what? You've made me feel rejected and this isn't just, yes, there's an urge to try to start again, but this would basically be you saying no nookie until you get your shit together. Good for you. All right. Let's see what we have at the bottom of the start. There is hope here though. So you could be daydreaming because this is your energy. I'm hoping, I'm daydreaming, I'm thinking about trying to reach my expectations. But there's something that needs to stop because I feel defeated. I feel like I can't go on with the connection the way that it's been. And you're very disheartened and hurt and insecure. But, you know, this person could be emotionally immature. Needs to get their shit together. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Ace of coin. I have a shiny coin. All right. Well, up this person's ass with the remote control. I want to see if they can shit a different channel by squeezing their cheeks. This person sees you wanting a new beginning. Well, that's very nice and everything. I would like to have a new beginning and I'm available and I'm stable and I'm sensible. And hey, I'm a... I'm a good fucking investment. And they're kind of going, I really am not interested. Love? Really? No. I don't want to do anything with it, love. But you want an opportunity with me. This is like stalemate central. Why the two of swords? Mm, this person could be just afraid of getting hurt. Let's get one more here. They're afraid of coming back around. So if this is somebody that you've had a struggle with and it does look like there's a disconnect where things aren't they could have shattered your dreams, yes, but it's like the foundation between the two of you is not stable. So what's the blockage? Don't make it a person. Don't make it a person. Okay, so we got the six of coins and the star. So hopeless, happy, horseshit that was one-sided. Somebody that's always expecting handouts and not getting what they want. Well, what the hell is that? You make me feel discouraged. I don't know if I can trust you. I talk so much, I need a drink every now and then. Sorry. 
there's a feeling of one being higher than the other. So one might be more well off than the other. And this person feels like they lag, especially with that. It's like, I can offer you something financially. And they might be going, I don't want that shit. I'm not a, you know, I can make my own damn money. And, you know, but they're not necessarily seeing it. They feel like there's inequality going on between the two of you. And you're feeling kind of like, ah. Is this person ever going to have faith and get their shit together? It can be that there was things that were uneven financially. It's likely all because because I'm nosy. Okay. You're going to stand there right where you are. And you're basically kind of going, you want your freedom to fucking take it. But I'm not moving. I need to release myself. I need to get rid of the anger. I need to get rid of the... It's like I'm accepting what had been. And if you want to go, then go. Because I'm going to respect myself i mean but their action they're they're at a dead weight not moving and it doesn't look like you're budging either you're kind of like i'm pissed i'm having some really negative thoughts about you they are not very nice thoughts and this person's basically they feel like if something doesn't give that they're going to end up being hurt so that's what they're afraid of is being hurt but there is an, an inequality they think about possibly they're holding back it's like they're kind of delaying any plans right now but they're kind of no no so they're trying to use their intuition but there could be some suppressed emotions here does this person reach out reversed yes okay they do and it's justice so if we take that one up right it's time for this person to come clean and be honest it's time for them to take accountability for their actions. Then things might be able to go somewhere. All right. I'm going to go through the majors for you. We have Libra. Aries heavily. Aquarius. That abandonment crap. And mm, seems like you're a little hostile. Just a little. Might be well deserved. All right. Pisces, Cancer, Taurus. Pisces, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, a lot of fire in the beginning there. So hot-headed, damn fire signs. Yes, we are. I am one, too. All right, that's what we have for you, Aries, and on we go. Tauruses, if you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sag, source, that person thinking, seeing, how they see a Taurus. All right. Six of rods. Feelings, feelings, feelings. All right. An action. Clarify the six of rods. Okay. Clarify the two coin reversed. All right. This person feels like you don't really have any interest in trying to be with them. They're like, I feel like you're holding back the love they're like there needs to be more commitment there needs it's like they feel like it's a hot mess between the two of you but they also feel like they're trying to get your attention and you're ignoring the rest you got the king of love stick here rods and they just feel like i'm trying i'm trying i'm trying to get your attention you might be getting attention from other people why in the hell won't you listen to me why in the hell don't you give me the time of day what, do I stink? Yeah, maybe they do. Maybe they need to wipe the ass lint off them. But this is basically somebody that wants to reach out, but they're going to do it in a friendly gesture because they feel they feel like there could be a reconciliation energy with you. However, they're, they're seeing you just not really committing to it one way or the other. It's like uh, you're not playing into their juggling game, and they're not happy about it. It's like they've overextended possibly their welcome. So what's the actual blockage? Okay. This can be somebody that is just fucking rude. We'll say that. So we say blockage, we go this way. Somebody needs to make up their mind and decide what they want. They got the Seven of Cups reversed. It's like it's time to come down out of the clouds and possibly talking and flirting with other people and acting pouty. It's like it needs to stop. How do you feel towards this person? All right, one more. Okay. <laughs> okay. How do you feel towards this person? Bye, Felicia. Really had enough of your shit. I don't want to talk to you. I do not want to talk to you. You go your own way. I'll go mine. 
I, I don't have any interest. You have really killed my buzz. If it's they're no fun, they don't. You just don't feel as strong as you had about this person before. I might have felt like it was just sex, but you're like, gotta go. There's better things ahead of me than behind me, and they're they're like, well, I'm gonna come in and talk to you, and you're going, uh, pff, I your bags are packed. They're outside. If you don't pick them up by six, I'll start them on fire. Right. <laughs> I just don't see that you want to even talk to them. You're blocking any communication. No thank you type attitude. You may feel like this person was just at you for screwing. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Six of Cups reversed. Devil for feeling. That's nice. Oh, but they're going to make a move. So this person's missing you. They're dwelling on the past. They see you possibly a little bit on the hopeless side, but they want to try to make things better. I see what I've done in the past. All right. So what are their actual feelings here with that devil? All right. This is somebody that's like, they will say anything to try to get back under your good graces, even if it's bullshit. So I feel like they're saying, I'll do this and I'll do this. I mean, they do definitely have a plan of action. So what's the plan of action? All right, they're going to play the wah wah card on you. It's like, I'm so disappointed. I'm so hurt. I know what I've done and I shouldn't have this. I shouldn't have that. No, maybe you shouldn't have this or that. But it's like, you lost emotions towards me and I'm disappointed. Now you're closed off and I'm jealous and wah, 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 wah. All right, so what's the blockage? So long, farewell, Avita Zena, adieu. You've had enough of it. There's something that they did with judgment reversed here that makes you feel like they were hiding behind a mask. It's somebody that doesn't use the best judgment and they think that they can just come in and kiss your ass anytime and that you're going to take an apology. And you're kind of going, I've really had enough, but I'm going to change. And you're going, you, you don't. It's like you've already gone around this, this uh, story a few times and you're kind of going, you don't change. Yes, you say you're going to, but you don't actually follow through. But I would expect communication from this person. It's just going to be, I'm so obsessed with trying to get you back that I'll say any damn thing that you want to hear. That's crapola. And it's looking like you just kind of like, ah, feel like those sores are going. It's like, I'm not enough. You make me restless. It's like, I, I get a move. It's like the grass needs to get greener under my feet so I can get out of here. But it's like you're working on possibly an escape plan to try to get away from that person. And they could be on the uh, really shitty side, at least, and possibly a gaslighter or manipulative and cold. Well, you can't take that back. It's almost like something that they have said cannot be unheard. It's underneath of that. And now they're telling you that they're going to do right by you. I'm going to do right by you. No, I don't think so. you got a history of not doing right by me. All right. Shake it off. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Ooh, the mega bitch. Very good. Oh, shit sticks. Well, then. Okay. Well, that's going to be a hot one. Okay. Why do we have them seeing you as the Barracuda? Okay, they, they basically are saying, you think that I'm up to no good and I'm trying to be serious and honest with you and you're just kind of emotionally pushing me away. I'm very interested in you. However, they're feeling like you're the one that is uh, disciplined with your love and that you anything that they say to you, everything else leads to conflict. Like you're constantly saying you're full of shit. You're not telling the truth and you just won't back down. They just feel like you're the, uh, you're the asshole according to them. So their energy, what they're going to do. Shit. Where have they been? First of all, because you got the nine of wands here. They can't just be in and out coming in with a, Hey, I miss you. But, but, but oh, no, what's the, what's the blockage here? All right, one more. All right. So you have the four of pentacles and the hanged man reversed. So it's time for some arts and crafts time because this person, you've really come to the realization that they're really never going to commit. They're never going to offer what you want. You don't really trust them. What you want's just not possible. Why should I waste any more time being jealous over you or whatever the case may be? With the four of coins here, it's like I need to let go. 
I need somebody that I can trust, somebody that appreciates me and actually tries to hold on to me. And then this is not the person. No, this person just puts knots in your stomach. You feel like you'd be better off staying independent, and it might be a really good idea just to not to talk to this person right now, but I would say they're coming in with a poor me. Everything's always on me, and you're just a fucking mega bitch, and you do everything. No, no. This person also might be talking to somebody else behind your back, and therefore, what are you? Back burner. Like, this person is going to be put on the back burner if you would say yes, but they're still there. They, why would you want to deal with somebody that still has somebody else there? No. Bottom of the deck, you got the ten of rods. I've had enough. Enough, enough, enough. It's under that because I'm nosy. Yeah, it's like, I need to think about this. I need some time. You can wait. Kind of like till hell freezes over. I'll, I'll just be sitting over here while you do your thing. And it's almost like, I think you'll see something like repeating history again if you just sit and watch. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I don't feel like I can go on without you. I know I abandoned you, but they feel like the two of you should try to work things out. We can get over this, honey. They called you B-shit. Yes, they did. Their actions is a ten of coins reversed. That ain't good. That can be a, that can be a home break home wrecker but i'm starting it with love so is this person already in another connection and they're not necessarily making any movement i feel like i miss you but you won't give me another chance no you're in another connection possibly that they're a player toys with others i mean that's how they are seeing you i can get away with anything i want how they feel is like we can get through this together it's the actual black edge they're full of shit completely full of shit and it's one-sided happy horse shit and they feel like they can get away with crap now the six of coins can also be somebody that's looking for a handout breadcrumbing you you might be getting a little payback on their ass but it's also somebody that's like things are conditional like you have to give to be able to get from this person and then they're stingy they keep to themselves what's the actual truth clarify the three of rods reversed yeah, and they're very good at trying to make you feel, it's like, okay, I, I see you as somebody that's, you know, really not trusting me, but I can make you forget all about that because I have the power. I'm the magician. I will make a move and I'm going to do this and I will find a way to change your mind. Ooh, good luck to them. Why the five of pentacles reversed? They're not over you. They don't want to let this go. So I feel like they're trying to discover what they can do to get you to open up so that they can come back. Maybe they lost the couch they were bouncing on with somebody else. The moon here reversed. It's basically saying that you're too anxious to deal with this person's crap right now. And you see them for who they truly are and you're not wasting your time with the seven of coin reversed. It's just like, yeah, I know, I know you're trying and planning and plotting to to come my way and say that you're going to do this and that but i have news for you yeah the tower here is like i'll shake shit up a little bit i will shake shit up a lot of bit if i need to it's like you might impulsively have a discussion with the other side piece and go hey let's have coffee mm, no better yet let's go out for a margarita i'll buy the picture you get the next one because there's something about this person that they're not being completely honest with anybody no no, no, no. All right, see what we have for majors. You got a shit show. I'm sorry, guys. Hopefully it doesn't resonate. Pisces, Cancer. Capricorn, Leo. A little bit of everything in here. Not a lot of majors. Gemini. What all signs are in there? All right, Tauruses, that's what we have for you. And I'm going to go, Geminis, let's jump in. If you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sag, Source. All right, first one up. Oof. Second one up. Third one up. All right. Find the Knight of Swords reverse for how they see you or feel about you. 
Okay, this person feels like you have shunned them and that there isn't any reason. They basically are calling you out. They're like, this is bullshit. You're doing this and blah, blah, blah. blah. How they feel towards you. They feel like you're just kind of a flirt. And so are you playing a little bit hard to get? Let's clarify the page of ones. All right. Yeah, there's something that's not quite done. This person feels like they need to have another say. They're basically trying to anchor something down, trying to have some stability. That would be like they're not getting off their ass, but they still think that you're the right white, white one. It's the white day for a white wedding. They think that the two of you should be together. You should be the empress, the significant other. You're kind of going, so long, farewell. There's better things for me, possibly somewhere else. But in this person's mind, you have shunned them. You're ignoring them. You don't want to deal with them, and they are not liking it. They're kind of like, how can you just have this big chip on your shoulder? All you're doing is stirring up drama. What, yes, maybe because the uh, Gemini can't see, 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 being with you when you're an ass, a horse's ass. What's the blockage? All right. We got two. Anything else for blockage? No, all right. So let's deal with the ones we got. So we flip the cards. It's looking like you're not interested in this. And that you don't feel content. You don't feel happy. You don't feel like you're getting what you deserve or need emotionally. But the, the nine, when it is reversed, it's like, I don't feel happy. I ain't happy. You might feel like this person wanted their cake and ate it too. Like the connection was emotionally or physically unsatisfying. Or that it was too casual. That it was just a temporary whatever. And this person's selfish. One more with their actions, because that's basically thinking. They're going to try to reach out. Can we collaborate and try to see how things go? Okay, you're not so sure. You're going, this is kind of one-sided happy horse shit. As far as I'm concerned, you can just take your offer elsewhere. I don't, it's like, I'm not going to pity you. I'm not going to sit here and feel sorry for you if you act all, oh, you're shunning me and you're not interested and you're being such a horse's ass and why can't you stop being so hard on me? Uh-huh. And yet they feel like things aren't over between the two of you. But, and they see you as possibly immature. They might be feeling immature towards you. It just feels like somebody is like they always have to have their way. They're acting like a little damn brat. But this here, Six of Pentacles reverse? No. I, no. You're disgusted with what they've given you. It's like things, that would be like wishes that are conditional. Why would you want to bother? But they think that if they stand their ground... Yes, he's sitting, but stand their ground that the two of you will be together again. But did they make a choice to be with you between you and another person? You do have a three here. But I want to try to make things work. Well, the side hoe's got to go if there is one. But here, they're, look at how they see you. You shun me. You don't want to see me. You don't want nothing. And they just feel like you're stirring up drama. Really? I was stirring up drama, are you? Hmm. Somehow that doesn't feel accurate. Ah, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini. Okay. Queen of Swords. All right, let's get one more. Six of Cups and the Eight of Wands reversed. Okay, so this is person's going to be putting themselves in a little pity party. They see you as the Queen of Swords. Why? Okay, so they see you as somebody that would listen, be very seriously, can be easily distracted from your physical pleasure or anything because the trust comes first and you're very independent. You can be harsh with your words. It's like, I will listen, not chasing your ass. I know the truth of what you, it's like they already know you know the truth. This is somebody that feels like things could start up again with you. I'm going to make an offer and this is gonna be good. They feel like things are going the wrong direction. They feel like you're blocking them and not really talking to them. Their action is the wheel of fortune reversed, why? 
it's almost like they're waiting. They're waiting for the other, for the other shoe to drop because they have feelings for you. They want to feel stable around you. They want to be back together. They definitely want to be back together with you. I feel like we belong together. I feel like we've had some really good times. All I can do is think about the past. And right now they're just like, nothing's going my way. Poor me. Because they don't... It's almost like they're expecting a bad outcome. Like you're not going to listen to them. And that there's going to be, oh, I've got to face the music this time, do I? But there's feelings here. So what's the blockage? Right. All right. Could they have been getting attention from another person and lied about it? Justice reversed to somebody that's not being honest. This would be this would be the the feeling of all oh, this attention, and you're kind of being stingy as far as opening up to this person. But if they had lied to you, they need to take accountability for their actions. Whatever they did, they need to take accountability. Lies, denying the truth. Therefore causes somebody that needs to be smacked around a little bit and they need to be punished because you're a bit emotionally cold towards them. It's like, I, I don't really believe what you're saying about these other people paying attention to you, but you're not paying attention to them. So you're kind of, you see her face? I don't know about you. How do you feel about this person? How do you feel? All right. You're hopeless and you have the two. Look at this. They do not float your boat. This is something that you're really going to have to think about. This can be a connection that's been on and then it's off and then it's on and then it's off. And you might be like, I, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm going to give this a second chance or a third or fourth. It's like I feel kind of like I'm walking on eggshells and I don't like this shit. So it's like I'm mulling over the idea of a second opportunity, but you don't feel like there's any faith. You feel like this person breaks their promises. And so this is like, I don't know. Also can be that you juggled my ass and broke my heart. And then this is like, I anticipate you doing the same damn thing. But I would say that they are going to reach out because they can't stop thinking about you and they want to start over, but know that they have to be serious because you've got the wicked... She's smiling here, kind of, kind of not. You know, if they see you as the Wicked Witch of the West, that ain't cool. Not so cool. And it looks like it's giving you enough of a headache. You got the Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. That is your energy. With a cut, we have the High Priestess. It's just like, I don't know what I can't see. I don't know. Whatever I don't see is still concerning me. You're giving me a headache. I feel too anxious. I don't trust this. There's things that are unknown. And it's like you using your intuition to hold back. All right. Uh, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Judgment reversed. The Hierophant and the Two of Wands. All right. Why Judgment reversed? For how they see you. Ooh. This person basically feels like you are sidestepping the drama right now and that you don't want to hear them out. They think that you're not ready for this connection or that there's a change between the two of you that they just don't want. They feel like they've lost. They're in a self-pity party and self-doubt. They could be feeling guilty, ashamed, worried, and they see you as somebody that's kind of just going, don't want to deal with the drama. I'm going right around this shit. One more for the Hierophant energy. And they feel like the two of you are basically in restraints where you're going ixnay on the getting back together. Hey, you don't want to really talk to them. And they're, they're kind of almost, well, if I just wait, because the hair font's in no hurry. It's like, did this person learn their lesson? I would say they don't see it. And then that leaves too many answers, not too many questions, not answered. Like they're blind to the truth when it comes to the feelings with you. But they have to weigh out the options, and you're avoiding me, so I don't know what to do. They're just sitting there kind of going, I'm damned if I do and damned if I don't. Trying to discover what? Trying to discover what you're thinking. <laughs> it's a blockage. Well, that can be uh, somebody that leads you on. Hmm. <clears throat> It's almost like this person um, could be a little bit manipulative on how they do things. They're very good at what they do, but they can like pull you in a wrong direction very quickly. They can be very convincing. It's somebody that you're kind of going, uh, 
I've, I've played this before with you and it didn't go so well. A three of wands, it's like a lot of, a lot of talk, 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 but no action. And this person's possibly putting the moves on other people and making you feel like they're leading you on or that there had been a third party or somebody else had uh, attracted their interest. How do you feel? All right, one more. You might take them back. However, they are going to follow the rules or you beat them and play whack-a-mole. I will play ninja with my stick and beat you. There are certainly things that you will not tolerate if you give this person a second chance. And um, you're taking a major time out. It's like, I'm going to stand my ground. I'm going to be guarded. I need to think about this a little bit longer. There are emotions here, though, and the Queen of Cups is very forgiving. So you're disappointed, but you still have feelings for them. You should feel guilty, but I still have feelings for you. So whatever they did, and if it wasn't leading you on, it was things dragging out. So stringing along that way where things were taking too damn long. And you might feel like they got a little bit on the arrogant side because you got frustrated. It's like, stop acting like you're disappointed. This person also could be laying guilt trips on you, but they're, they're trying to figure out, I'm trying to discover what Gemini thinks, and you're kind of going, that's good for you. It is kind of good for you to think about that. So you're not giving them a yes, you're not giving them a no, you're not really giving them anything yet. So you're kind of keeping to yourself about it. See the irritation on the lion's face? It's like Mufasa going, ow, ow, ow. Mufasa, ooh, do it again. But this would be you holding back. It's like, I'm standing my ground. I'm holding back. I'm doing what's best for me. And right now with strength upright, I feel like I have to use some restraint. And I might be gently persuading you to follow the damn rules. Shouldn't have to put that much work into a connection. Seriously. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. All right, five of cups reversed. I might have an apology for you. They feel like everything's all up in the air and they're waiting. Hang man, just sitting there with their finger up their nose. What do I do? Is Jimmy going to change their mind? But they're really not willing to commit. They could be having an epiphany that, oh, I should have done this or that. But they also could be delaying doing anything. It's like something needs to be let go of. It needs to be let go of. Ooh. They need, okay. If you're saying what needs to be let go of or what needs to change, it's this person acting like an adult. Be a big boy or girl. You know, you make me feel inadequate. You make me feel like you're not giving to this connection. You make me feel a lot of things that aren't secure. And you might feel like they're stubborn and they just won't change. All right, tell me more about this I'm saw we. Well, they want to offer that love, love, love again. Will you take an apology? I think we belong together. I'm afraid you're not going to listen to me, that you're not going to hear me out. And with the seven here, they just feel like, what do I do next? I don't know what to do. I'm confused. I really don't know what the hell to do to make you happy. What's the actual blockage? Ouch. All right. Emotionally disappointed. The person could have stepped out. Could have been a third party. However, it can be just that you're trying to heal from this person and you don't feel the same way that you had about them before. One more for blockage. Hermit. Okay, so we take the hermit and it is reversed then. This is how we see these. It's looking like somebody wanted their peace and quiet and time to themselves and chose to be alone. But what are they doing that they're kind of turning their back on you? It's like, oh, I don't really want to have to be supportive. They're conflicted. That also can be that you had secluded to try to heal from this person and then you didn't want to talk to them. It's like, I'm not going to talk to you, heartbreaker. I'm trying to heal. And this person's going, but I'll stop being unreliable. How does this move forward? I'm nosy. Okay. They're going to drop their toxic ways. That's that's your energy. Mufo, you are going to stop being an addict. You're going to stop with all the drinking and the screwing around. Whatever it is, they have to get rid of the toxicness. 
Otherwise, you're gonna you just be like, uh, you're not gonna be dependent on me if you can't get over your your issues, and if you don't see your point, your position in the problem here, then this won't work. But this would be a possible resolution. It would be giving and take. So you would have to come up with a moderate balance between the two of you where you compromise then things yes could work out it's a lot of finger pointing going on here and disappointment and yes there can be i'm trying to heal let's try to work on this connection but i needed a break they're definitely wanting to bring it up this is the possible i see you as somebody that expects an apology so i damn well better get at it and their feelings they're just kind of like they're paranoid that you might Basically say, I'm too confused. I don't really want to deal with this. They really have no idea what you're thinking at all. But you might surprise them. It does look like there's feelings there. And this would be trying to make peace. Can the two of you get along? Can they drop whatever it is that they need to that gets in the way of these two cups? That's your cup and their cup. Sagittarius, Virgo. Pisces, Cancer. Pisces, Cancer, Taurus, Aquarius, Libra, a lot of fire in here, Aries, Leo, Sag, all right, and then we got mm -hmm, Gemini, your own card, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, all right, Gemmies, that is what we have for you, and on we go. Source, what do we have for Cancer is dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sag? Ooh, stuff burn. Four of Cups. Two of Wands. One more. All right. Three of Pentacles. All right, weigh the Four of Cups for how they see you. Hmm. Why the two of wands for how they feel. Okay. And one more for the three of coin. Mm -hmm. This person feels like you are holding back and not putting out. That's for damn sure. They see you as somebody that is kind of in a pissed off mood, not trusting anything, not interested, don't want to hear their crap. How they feel, they feel like they want you to make a decision. They would like to see this move forward, but the two of wands are like, ah, this can work if you just open up. I can see a future with you. I don't want it just to be one thing, but they're kind of going, I, yeah. they feel like you don't trust them, that you're not sure about what to do with them unsure about your feelings towards them and not not sure what to do about the connection so they feel like a need to possibly protect themselves from you from possible heartbreak they might feel rejected by you their actions they feel like they're going to lose out one more temperance because this is somebody that's like can't we just try try moderation um i'll try to be more compromising with this and blah blah, blah. So what's the actual blockage? Nine of Wands. Six of Coins. Did you feel breadcrumbed by this person? Did they treat you like an option? Seven of Cups is like, I don't know what the hell I want. Six of Pentacles is possibly giving to another person. And the Nine of Wands is somebody that kind of just gives up. It's like, it's not worth it. Don't push me, punk. Don't overstep the boundaries. I don't even care if you do. You could do what you got to do, but not uh, -uh. Did you feel breadcrumbed? Did you feel like this person wasn't putting any work into it or that they uh, took you for granted? It's also the potential feeling of payback. In other words, uh, you have it coming to you because you did this and I'm disgusted by your conditional offer. How do you feel about this person? I shun you. And I take no chances. You're you're basically closed off to this. So I, I gotta I gotta think about this crap here. But they and that's what you got going on here. They they feel they see you holding back, kind of staying to yourself, not trusting them, having a big chip on your shoulder, and not interested in even really hearing them out. I mean, their feelings is like you're at a stalemate. 
but they want they still feel like this can work out their actions like coming in for a hey i'm sorry can we try to make things work um yeah i know you're not putting putting out <laughs> definitely not putting out you're you know you're holding back i get that i want to try to make things work between the two of us but if this person was breadcrumbing you possibly giving to another person possibly treating you like an option and i'd say you gave up on this person with the eight of swords it's like i don't see it working and i'm not taking any chances so it's like you can talk till you're blue in the face let's get one for likely outcome all right I would be cautious with this person. Bottom of the deck, you got the hermit. So it's it's almost like it's something you got to think about. Isn't she pretty in her pen noir? Uh -uh. Meow and purr. You need to think. You need some space. You're like, I, I need to be an adult here. And just before I speak, think. Because this can be somebody that decided to have a, um, well, the two of you have been apart. They've been in a side relationship. But it's just ending up being a fling, kind of like a rebound connection. And you feel like this person's constantly pulling shit that they shouldn't. The Magician Reverse can be somebody that's very manipulative or doesn't do anything to change. Misleading, trickery, deception, stupidity. And that, that whole idea of a rebound is just not sitting well with you. So it does look like they're trying to reach out and they're they're being, I'm going to respect your boundaries and I, I'm going to put effort into this. I really am. And I know I got to wait. Yeah, you got to wait. And, you know, maybe get tested in six months for STDs. But this is really kind of like, I'm willing to bend your way and it's more you that's going, I'm not taking any chances. <laughs> I know where you've been. I know what you did. So they're more wanting to try to work things out than you do. So if, if you forgive this person, because this is showing up at the bottom of the deck, with the Knight of Pentacles here, they're going to have to show you the work. You're going to have to feel secure with this person, and they're going to have to kind of go slowly so that you can actually feel like things are stable. It's like slow and steady, and they're going to have to be really patient and nurture this connection, and you need to know what to expect from them for it to work, but it could. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ace of Cups, I have feelings for you. Oh, they feel hurt, though. Mm. And then the Eight of Wands. So let's talk. Can we start over? Can we start from scratch? Is this a Three of Swords with Cancer reversed? No. It is with you. Mm. Why? Page of Cups. Okay, this person misses you and they want to apologize to you. There could have been a third party. Doesn't have to have been. What's a blockage? Ace of Swords. Mm, one more. Ten of Wands. I gave up. Completely gave up. The Ace of Swords is somebody that isn't completely giving you the whole truth and nothing but the truth, so help me God. It's like, okay, so, you know, I kind of left something out. I don't want to be confronted because you're overthinking things, but I've been full of shit, and I just don't want to talk about it, so I, I give up too easily. But they're going to offer love, and here they come. Brum, 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 brum. I'm coming in because there's nothing in the way, and you're going, my door's locked. My door is locked. You have the Four of Swords. I, I need to, like, chill. I need some. I need a break. There's too much tension for you. It's like, I, I need to be defensive right now and contemplate this. So you're going to give me some space. But it's not necessarily saying, what direction could this go? Justice reversed. They have to take accountability. And it doesn't look like they are. With justice reversed, that's somebody that's not taking accountability, leaving things uneven, trying to manipulate their way into getting back in the door. Justice reversed is somebody that is a liar, pants, not truthful. And this that's the, they need a punishment, like a big beating on their ass. And it's got you feeling cold and wanting to keep to yourself. And they need to suffer the consequences of their action. So there's no, no balance with that person as far as you are concerned. But there could be a change with the Wheel of Fortune. This also can mean that this person keeps continuing the same damn pattern. 
and that they well we'll just start over i'll offer you my cup again and everything will be peachy one more for how they see you they also might see that you love yourself more than yeah they know that you're having some feelings of doubt and kind of on the fence but it's also that you are showing them i put the work into this i these things had paid off but now they're not anymore, and I love myself more than I have to think about you because there could have been a third party, and if not, they're coming at you in a pouty way for, um, hey, I'm sorry because I miss you, but they do feel like there is bitter mint, bitter mint, bitter mint, it's a new kind of gum, tasty and spearminty too, okay, but there's a, a bitterness between the two of you that they feel like it needs to change, but they're not doing much to change it as far as you're concerned but here they come nothing's going to stop them they're coming in with quick communication basically they want you to drop the crap between the two of you so things can be all better not on i don't know you might you might not because with the cut you get the five of swords you're gonna hear my ass out and you're going to stop avoiding me and you're going to stop avoiding the truth and you're going to spill out everything that's actually been happening or forget it. All right. Shake it off. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Good juju, please. Ten of Swords reversed. Queen of Pentacles. Three of Cups. All right. So this person's wanting to get together, try to talk things out, and I feel like you're saying, please go the fuck away. So let's see. Why the Ten of Swords for how they see you? Four of Wands. Okay, so they see you as somebody that basically doesn't think that they're going to change. They're like, yeah, I know. I know how you see me. You feel like I'm always going to pull the same shit. And so they see you as trying to heal and trying to be honest with yourself, but that you're just basically saying, I'm leaving, that there's no trust here. How they feel, they still feel like you're the right one for them. They feel like if they would, they want to try to put a sense of security between the two of you, but they, they see you, if they reached out and tried to ask you out or something, you'd say, no. Like resentful. And if this person blocked you, that's what caused the downfall here. One more. King of Swords. Mm. So the blockages, survey says. This person's a, a home wrecker. I mean, they can't control their impulses. They're constantly manipulating or changing the words or trying to brainwash you into believing one thing when it's actually not what's true. They're not being honest and they f are very good at gaslighting and convincing you otherwise. How do you feel? One more. Okay. You are trying to do what's best for you. You're like, I'm just going to sit here and play chess with myself because I just don't know that we can get through this together. Six of Wands, if it's if it's upright, it's the guy on the horse with all the admirers. And you might feel like this person's always leading you on and possibly getting attention from other people. And you've kind of had enough of it. Um, you're going to stick to being assertive. And you're basically telling them, I don't know that we can get past this homewrecker. It's a likely outcome because I'm nosy. That's why we have too long a video. All right. You're going to tell the devil to go away. Go away, devil. I've had enough of your shit. So it's time just to have a, you're going to wrap it up. Not not like wrap and tap. No, not, not like wrap and tap. I'm done. You're toxic. We are toxic. This needs to end. I need to have my closure. So it does look like you're going to ignore them. They don't feel like they're over you. Well, too bad, so sad. Your mom and dad. No, no, no. You're not giving in to this person's uh, <sighs> charms for damn sure. You're kind of going, <laughs> yeah, you know, that might have worked on me at one point in time, but not no more. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's get some good juju in here. Nine of Wands. Wheel of Fortune. So far, so good. One more good one. One more good one. 
Ten of Cups. Well, so this person sees you as somebody that's very vivacious, outgoing, and fun, and constantly looking for for constantly looking for attention possibly they might there might be an actual physical move but they're, they're like they feel like the chemistry between you is hot they're very motivated and they're very confident that they could get your attention but they also see and respect the boundaries which is healthy their feelings is kind of like woohoo finally something good happens for me and their action with the ten of cups whew, give me the opportunity to be with you I want some of you, your energy. I gotta think about it, baby. All right. So this can be that you're afraid of this person not, uh, well, it's like, okay, are you going to be like the same old, same old that I've dated before? So you're being a bit obsessive about, and you're clinging to the past a little bit and acting a little bit jealous. It's like, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to give you the opportunity or not. I got to think about it. Um, not walking on eggshells for you. Undecided. This person, you might feel like they're too busy for you. How does this move forward? How does it move forward? All right. Well, we do have the star. And kind of avoiding conflict. So that in itself is nice. There's your know, bottom of the deck. It's like, I got to get to know you better. So we're going to start as friends. We're going to kind of see where it goes from that. I'll let you look at my sexy shoulder. But you're determined to get to know them first. So they definitely have the right idea about you. They see you as somebody that definitely has a guarded feeling and... Um, I don't want to deal with jealousy crap and, you know, a very low tolerance for bullshit. But they definitely would like to make this a steady thing. And they're trying to be honest with you. You're just the one. You're, I'm sorry, this one's kind of on you. Where you're a little bit iffy and you're used to people being one way and I'm not going to be an option. And there is hope here. There is hope here. There is a compromise that's needed. Okay? So that there is no drama. I just feel like you're kind of pushing this person away that... Seems pretty true blue. All right, so we have Aquarius, Scorpio. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Devil, Capricorn. Aries, Leo. Libra. Libra. This is the pinup girl deck for anybody that's interested is on Etsy. Sagittarius. Aries. Good old Magi. Brain cramp. Brain cramp. Scorpio. All right, but all signs are in there. Okay, Cancers, that's what we have for you. And on we go. La 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 Leos. All right, if you're dealing with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. Source. All right, three of cups, two of wands, and ooh, okay, if you are single, this is somebody that you get mingling with. I want to mingle with you, and I'm looking at you. This person, they see you as somebody that's fun, outgoing. They would enjoy being with you. They have feelings of kind of like, now what, like to take you out. So they're kind of sitting on the fence thinking about it. Their feelings that this would pay off. They're kind of like, this is a big fat go for it if you're single. And let's go out on a date. See how things go. All right. Ooh, meets your expectations. Ooh, look at that. So yes, this would be something that you want to nurture. You see them as somebody that's mature, possibly a little older than you. But you got the father figure type energy here. Woohoo! And the mother type energy. This is as close to a perfect match as you're going to get. This could have been the emperor and it would have been bingo. Bingo big time for singles. Now, if this is somebody from the past, can we try to work things out? They still see that there's a way to try to get things to work between the two of you. And yes, might have an apology. This does look like it would make you want to nurture and put more work into it. This is somebody that would have been long term and you want them to act like an adult. So what was the blockage? Ah, there's the emperor. Needed to kind of boss up. 
kind of a candy ass and maybe needs to be a little less dick-ish because the king of swords reverse can be very emotionally cold can be the person that's very demanding and this is almost like going head to head with this person and who's in charge and who makes the decisions and it's like the two of you butting heads so one more for that nice yeah I do feel like there's going to be a little bit of steam under this person's collar. However, you might be putting the moves on. You're going to make this happen. Something that you would be happy about and you've got feelings for this person. So that's wanting to work it out. But you're being emotionally mature about this. I feel like, I mean, come on. You got the two of cups. You got them going for it. It just seems like this person's got a little bit of a stick up their ass. Like if you shoved a piece of coal up there, it would be a diamond in a week's time because they're so uptight about things. They need to chill out a little bit and they need to act more like the emperor so that the two of you can have the one person. They got to bend a little bit more. They can't be in charge of absolutely everything and you can't be the doormat in a nutshell. But this is somebody that's like, you're... Don't walk away from me. I want to apologize to you. And they do see a future with you. All right. That's kind of nice. We like it. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ooh, Speedy Gonzalez. And the Ten of Cups for feelings. Very nice. I think you guys got the best read here so far. And lots of less drama. So this person wants to try to smooth things out. They do want to come at you right. They want to make things, they want to take accountability for their actions, make things fair and balanced and nice energy. One more for feelings. They feel like the two of you, like you complete them. One more for how they see you. One more. All right, they might see you as kind of running away from a commitment or really not buying it, where you're kind of going, right, because you could be acting a little bit slighted by them. So kind of like it's a bit of a quick change. What's the actual blockage? Okay, one more. All right, I mean, there needs to be a change, a big fat change. We take this and go this way. This can be somebody that doesn't ever seem like they're going to change and they need to change. They need to change their priorities. They need to change how they do things. There's fear of change though and obsessing about it. Possible some jealousy issues, but this is far from over. Your feelings, your feelings. All right, you're a little bit unsure. It's like, ah, you make me a little bit nervous. All right, however... It does look like there's hope as far as you're concerned. The bottom of the deck, we got the little, yes, you're still curious and eager to hear from this person. This could be you messaging them because it is your feelings. And yeah, attention. I mean, it's just like we can get over this hurdle. This is a really nice card for attentiveness, but it's also together we can make this work and curious about how to go about it. So and that was with the cut. With the bottom of the deck, you got like, let's go. What's under that? Gotta see, gotta see, gotta see. Okay, you gotta put the work into it. So do they, because it looks like this person might be turning the other way and not giving you all the attention that you need. But this would be, I wanna talk. Let's try to work this out. But all the secrets and bullshit has to come out, and it does look like they're taking accountability. I just feel like there's this hard headedness, very similar energy, and that you might be taken off not believing that. Uh, they're actually going to commit and they're going to behave themselves and come clean with you. But this person's feelings that the two of you, that you complete me, darling. You are mine. And you're going dit, 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 back up there a little bit. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Oh, the love rod. You excite me. This person feels like you're holding back. You're not putting out a little bit. Why? All right, so they're sitting there with a finger up the nose. Why strength for feelings? Oh, they think you're a little bit judgy and that you are kind of resisting. Okay, this is, a, they feel, <laughs> they see you kind of ignoring them, possibly starting something new. They, they feel about you that you're kind of a bitch, just a little bit, or that you have come to your conclusions that you have assumed what, whatever had gone on between the two of you's crap and they feel like you are just not tolerating nothing so what is the blockage here 
All right. Okay. Who got who? And I say who got in between this connection? Because now you're kind of going, okay, I don't know. This is possibly just going way too slow. But this would be somebody that what got in the middle is not putting right in between these two little cups, not putting any work into it, having emotional ADD, not sticking around, getting sick of the same old, same old. Well, that ain't good. I'm preoccupied with possibly a, a second person. No wonder you're all pissed off and holding back. And th this is like, no, now, no, never, ever. But this person is like, I see you as exciting and whatever, but you're just blocking me and you're rejecting me. So I'm just sitting here waiting. Well, it looks like they didn't put enough work into it. Or it's a little bit too little, too late. And you could be like, love's the last thing on my mind. One more for their action. Action. They do want to try to make good. Cut of the deck, you have the Ace of Swords. Bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Pentacles. You would have to start from ground zero, where you might just be saying, I've had enough. I'm cutting you out. And this person's like, I want to come clean, and I want to offer you something. I want to tell you that... I can be more reliable. I want to tell you that I will give you a sense of security and there will be a better foundation and I will value you like I have not before. And it's almost like it's music to your ears, but is it a good investment? Kind of, oh, I'd say. They might get to the point where they push so hard that you give. You cave because you crave. You cave, you crave. What's under the queen? Yeah. But you're going to make them start small. It's like, I'm very forgiving and very loyal, but you're coming my way. And you better make it good. But it does seem like right now you're kind of ignoring them and their uh, <laughs> attempts sexually, for damn sure. However, I don't feel like they're giving in. I mean, and keep getting aces, new beginnings, new start. Loving yourself. But if this person was tempted by the fruit of another, they're trying to tell you that they're going to change. And they're like, you've already come to your, you know, you've already assumed too much. And they're waiting. They're they're biding their time to try to have the opportunity with you. But good for you for holding back. Ha, ha, ha. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right. This person sees you as paranoid, possibly guarded. They feel like you're closed off or possessive. Nah, I'd say more closed off because they're worried that this might stay this way. Action. Or what they would like. They want you to change your mind. All right. So give me one more for action. I do feel like they're ready to shake things up a bit. Like uh, they might be overreacting and coming in going, I know you're sick of this crap, but I want you to change your mind. And the reason that I want you to change your mind is because this, 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 and this. And this has changed, and I don't mean this. And they've got some regrets. So it's like they woke up and realized that they neglected you or didn't put enough work into it. Now they want to try to reach out after a period of not having talked. And they, they know you are holding back. All right. And they basically see you kind of going, F, no. All right, so what's the blockage? Give me the blockage. Oh, well, thank God. Did this person want their freedom? We're talking fresh wounds here. That's like hello, shallow, possible third party. It could have been what they've already done and they're trying to make up for lost time. But this can be making excuses for why they did what they did. And you're kind of going, no way, not now, not never. Um, you're, you're at a major stalemate with this person and they see it. They know that you are undecided when it comes to them. That you have to think about it, that you need some space, that you're not jumping into anything too quickly. And right now, it's like, I need answers. I'm waiting. Make it good. And that it might be that you don't even see that they're coming. And they're coming in and coming in and, and you're trying to avoid them and trying to, it's like, it's a hard choice. Don't push me, punk. I might have to throw a punch. Uh, how does this move forward? Ooh. 
That looks nice. Okay, so four came out. You got to see what we have with a cut. If this person comes at you right and actually apologizes and tells you how they regret what they've done and how they had walked away from you, but they want a truce. They want to have a new beginning and try to put the work into it. And it does seem like there would have to be a lot of convincing. They would have to go very slow for you to be optimistic that you would allow this person back in your life. Okay, but don't don't rely on them to lift you out of the depression. Okay, because this does look like you would happy if this person came back and they actually meant it. And this would be like uh, so committed to making this work. It's like we can do this. We can get through this. And I'm determined to make the two of us, you know, I'll work as hard as you do at this. And with the cut, moderation, balance, you give a little, they give a little. It's trying to... Um, compromise in a way so that you can and that's loving yourself as well as uh, taking the cup from this person getting the attention that you deserve it would make you feel better so whatever it is about this person doesn't have to have been a third party sorry this way but it does seem like they might be making excuses for why they hurt you and it could have just been that they were closed off to love period and that they had initially felt shunned and that you didn't see being with them, that their hands were tied, they couldn't move one way or the other, and now they want to change everything, but they feel like you are holding back. You are highly doubting it. You don't see this, and they know that you're paranoid, and they got a lot of explaining to do because this is being street smart, too. All right, Tay, let's call out your majors. Oh, this is one of my oldest decks. Love it. Cancer, Scorpio. It's pretty warm, but I love it. Pisces, Cancer. You got your own card, Leo. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Heavy Aquarius. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Taurus. Ole, 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 ole. Libra, Taurus, Aries. All right, my Leos. So are you going to give in so that you can be happy, happy? If somebody apologized, would you be happy to hear that they feel bad? I probably you might enjoy the hell out of it. Yeah, keep coming. Yeah, kiss my ass a little bit more. All right, Leos, that's what we have for you. And on we go. Virgo, if you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sag. Source, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right, what do we got? Death. Cake or death. Cake or death. All right. Sideways. Okay. One more. Oh, boy. This person's kind of a candy ass, I gotta tell you. Why do we have death? Why death? Okay, this did a dance and came out this way. This person's afraid of change, so kind of him and Han. This can also be somebody that's busy. But with death here, that's like something needs to change. And this person might act like they're afraid of change. And I don't want to do this. And I don't want to do that. It's like, well, you know, if something's going to work with a Virgo, you got to fucking put the work into it. So there might be a separation, obviously, between you and this person right now, but they might feel like inevitably things are always going to be kind of on, on, a, on a holding. They might feel like the two of you are always on a, there's pros and cons. Well, there's pros and cons to any connection, but they might feel like you're not going to give them a second chance, might be a third chance. So they're kind of mulling it over. Are we done or not? Their feelings, why the four of cups, kind of cockeyed. This is somebody that feels like you are really being stubborn and not giving them the time of day. Like you're avoiding any confrontation and that they feel like there's red flags between the two of you or that you're just hesitating to give them the opportunity because this is in between, the, like they have to prove it to you to get your attention because right now you're kind of just going, I'm not interested in this bullshit anymore. They're afraid of what? What are they afraid of? They're afraid of things not going right. This is somebody that has hope and they're afraid that you're not going to feel the same way. What is blockage? All right. I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. Yep, that's what the hell this is. 
I don't want to have to be mature and responsible. I'm better off being a playgirl or a playboy. I like to get my ego stroked by other people, and I don't know if I want to settle down yet. This is kind of like a <sighs> large child where they don't want to... Mm -mm. And I feel like, you know, as far as their feelings... They, they they feel afraid to be confronted because they might have to fucking come clean with you. Seriously, how do you feel? Go fuck yourself. Uh-huh. Let's get one more. Oh, look. Every time I see this card, it's the hangman. It, it makes me think frost and lucky charms. They're magically delicious. There's even a little fairy and there's the pot of gold. So you might be keeping this person in limbo and kind of holding things over them, but there's still passion here. There's passion, but there's also, a, I'm trying to get over this person, but they're not making it easy for me to do so. And they're making you rethink this. What is the likely outcome? Okay. Cut of the deck, you have temperance. So this can be that... Uh, if the two of you both compromise, things can change. But they got to act like an adult. This can be cutting them out, and it can be a very serious conversation. So it's going to depend. Bottom of the deck, it looks like you've kind of had enough. It's like, I'm, I'm fucking irritated by this shit. I'm not even holding back anymore. If you can't put the work into this, this is not going to be, it's not going to be anything. There won't be any passion or magic fire. Nothing's coming, you know, if, if nothing's going to happen, you're not going to put the work into it, then things are not going to work out if they actually put the work into it and even if they have to do it slowly but they do but they're afraid of not getting the attention from you they're afraid that the two of you can't get over this hurdle and they're afraid that you are possibly going to basically tell them no not interested because you possibly found out some secrets about them but they do feel more like I don't want to be confronted by Virgo. Well, tough shit, because it does look like they're going back and forth on, if I reach out, Virgo's going to rip me a new ass. Well, that could be a good idea for them, yeah. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Two came out. We'll take it. All right. Ooh. Ooh. All right, I have a cup of love, and I'm thinking i would like to have attention from you this is somebody that does always get what they want so you might be putting them a little bit more in a huh usually things come a little bit easier towards towards me but for feelings ooh, this might be for fun and that's it the blockage no we aren't allowing this shit this is like a fucking run down comes a tower so I pay attention to you until I fucking get bored. And then I don't act like I, I really give a shit. I'm unfaithful. Um, it makes you lack confidence. But this is somebody that's not going to consider your emotions after they dump your ass. No. I'm still thinking about this. Whether I'm interested or not. You know what? <laughs> I'm just going to love myself. Good. Use your hand and do that. Do the happy hand dance. Outcome. Ooh. I feel like you're just going to avoid the drama with this person and get clarity. But in this case, it feels like you're just going chink. I have to cut, I cut ties with you because you're not looking to be commitment type. You're just not looking for anything serious. This is the Hierophant reverse. It's like, I can't trust you. No. So you're going to judge them, judge and jury, cut them out. They're no. And at the bottom of the deck, we get the moon. There's too many unknowns and too many red flags going on here. So this person, it's like, they come on real strong, but they got a lot of doubt. It's like, well, you'll have to be patient with me if you want me to come in because I like to play around and, and I like to have my freedom. Well, I don't think Virgo wants to play with you. No, so go play with yourself. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Ooh, that came flying. All right, so we got the gentle giant that's got a crush. They feel like you're cute. This is somebody that feels like the ball is in your court. 
Mm, but they're going to reach out and grab you. Abracadabra. So, I mean, right now they're in the thinking, I got a crush on Virgo. Do I do anything? This is going for it. So they're going to start playing flirty, flirty. But they might feel like you have more than one option. And are you open to this? They could be holding back a little bit because it's like, I don't know. I'm so unsure. You leave me feeling so confused. Aren't you interested? It's like they think you gotta like make a make a decision. Get off the damn pot, shit, or get off the pot. All right, the blockage. Well, we don't like that. Okay, I don't feel like you you trust this person and don't know where you stand. You got the five of wands to begin with. Argumentative, possibly putting you in the position of more than one suitor for them and they're going well you look good and you look good and you look good and you're kind of going seriously not gonna work for my ass and this is the page of swords reverse this is making you feel like i have to check up on this person and i got to do the spanish inquisition and i feel like they're lying about something to me how does this move forward player bullshit stuck i feel like you're going to shun them I shun you because you don't put any work into situations. I cannot see being with you. So it's like, I'm going to isolate. You You go that way. I'm protecting my heart. Just not even going to uh, even think about this. I'm not allowing myself to get too close because I just feel like you're shallow. And it does look like it's all baby steps. You got two pages here. Plus the way you see them is immature and restless and not wanting to be vulnerable no argumentative no no oh here comes the monster go ahead buddy the noah monster oh, he's smiling and he smells good we've been putting cologne on and we don't usually do that it's a new thing it's like what are you doing woman okay so this person is definitely got their eyeball on you this is, they feel about you like you would uh, be the one to make them happy. This is somebody that wants to try to meet your expectations. And I mean, nice. All right. How do you see them? Oh, all right. Maybe a little bit older, maybe a little bit on the shy and quiet side. Um, it does seem like a newer connection, but let's just... I would like to nurture this. I would like things to go really smooth. I, I definitely want to just kind of glide into this. It's like, in this case, it's not trying to run away from something. It's like, I got to think about this. And this person thinks and feels like you could definitely make them happy. They want to be very focused on you if you give them the opportunity. And I would say you would like to nurture this, but you want it to go slow. It's like, don't rock the boat. Take me seriously. How's this move forward? It's a new chapter. So this could turn into something with longevity. It sure looks nice. I got to tell you. Okay, cut of the deck. We got the Wheel of Fortune. So this might be a timing issue that you don't necessarily see it coming and boom and something comes and you're going, ooh, I would definitely invest in that. But it's kind of like things aren't planned. It comes out of the blue. It's just when you finally go, screw it, I don't care anymore, that the universe comes in and gives you something nice. And then it turns into like this pivotal, I gotta make time for this person. And ooh, ooh, but this looks really nice. Now, if this is somebody from the past, they want to show you that they can put work into it. Yes, they feel like you're their lucky charm. Mm hmm. We're not getting into boxes of cereal. And this is knowing that they have to meet your expectations. This would be you thinking about it and wanting things to go smoother in the future, but still wanting to mother this connection, wanting to give it the work that it deserves and long-term, longevity, starting over. And it's like making a new chapter out of it. So if it's an X, how does this go? Because I'm nosy. Ten of Cups. I mean, that'd be love, baby. And let's see what we got. Yeah, I mean, it does seem like, and this is your energy. You're looking at them like, okay, I can see that you are actually attempting to make a difference and to put some work into it and listen to what I'm saying. So, yes, I, you know, if you keep this up, this would go well. So take it however it resonates. But boy, they just feel like you are the lucky charm. A rabbit's foot, yes. Frosted lucky charms. 
All right, see what we got for majors. Scorpio, Aries, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. You got somebody definitely shaking in their shoes. Oh, shit, Virgo's not happy. Is that funny, Noah? <laughs> Pisces, Cancer. Noah, say shit, shit, shit. He's nonverbal, and I've always said to him, if you say shit, 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 mama, get you a booby magazine. You got the real Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Libra, <laughs> Virgo. Uh, I guess he's got the sillies. I don't know. Sorry, guys. All right. That's what we have for you, Virgos, and on we go. All righty. There you go, Libra. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, God, flying out. Okay, this person sees you as a bit mysterious. They're not sure what to do with you. This is, this is like, I want an opportunity with you. I'm willing to take it slow. I'll be reliable, but I'm kind of dragging my feet because I have no clue what to make of you. They feel like if they would reach out that you're playing kind of hard to get. So are you interested? Let's see, are you interested? They might meet your expectations, but you definitely got to make them work for it. I don't like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is an X. It's called Homewrecker, Asshole, and Secret. Like that. Don't like that. But now, I'll man now I'm going to manage myself better, and I'm going to make more time for you. This just feels like there was a time issue here, and this person kind of got quiet or didn't want to be confronted, and you said ain't going to work like this. Did this person step out reverse? Yes. No, they did not. Okay, so this just seems like this person needs to manage their time better. They could be a hard worker, which is all great in that, but it makes you feel like I'm all alone. And you're never around and I need more attention this is somebody that I mean they see you as balanced and fair and honest and telling it like it is how does this move forward if it's an X getting the attention that you deserve so just hold back and wait a little bit don't attack yet because it does seem like ooh, cut of the deck there's an apology and it's shark week yeah but this would be like trying to make a wrong right and say okay we can we can try to make this work how do i get more prepared what what can i do to be able to spend more time with you before work or whatever but it's like finally being a little bit more persistent to fight for what they want so this just feels like inequality not spending enough time with you needing to slow the hell down a little bit and open up so they do see you as giving them the opportunity and it does look like it would make you happy if they they did cut of the deck you get six of cups yeah i mean you're sitting there going we have all these nice memories and i want to keep making memories but don't get stuck in a rut and constantly think about the past because there are emotions here you, you are you are definitely invested emotionally and you you want this to move slowly forward but not reverse otherwise Bug off, bozo. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Two of Cups. Nine of Cups. Ooh, I want to sing you a love song. Oh, my. Hello, lover. Well, then. So this is somebody that sees you as like their ideal match. They want to manifest you. They feel like... The two of you would be happy together, that they would be content, that you would be content. And this is like, I'm going to message Libra and see if they're interested in me. So are you interested? Let's see. All right. You got some hope that this could happen. But that Wheel of Fortune is kind of like, didn't expect it. Came out of the blue. Bottom of the deck, we have the Fool. It does seem like you're willing to kind of go for it. If this is somebody from the past... This would be, I have faith, I have hopes, high hopes that the situation 
will become better. It's just a matter of time. But still, this person sees you as the ideal mate, the right person for them. They feel like you make them happy, and their action is coming to you with a gesture. Whether it's the fuck up flowers, or hey, I'm sorry, or I really care about you, they want to talk. And it does look like you're hoping for the best between the two of you. That looks nice. All right, what have we got for a likely outcome? Not get to see yet, but it does look like you don't necessarily, we've got to cover the butt there, otherwise I get in trouble. Mm -hmm. Finger shaky, almost like you don't see that it's actually gonna happen, and boom, and they come going, hey, we can get over this together, I, I mean business, and you're like, man, I did not see that coming. Literally, I will get in trouble if we show the tushy. Tushy. Woo. Big boo. Kidding. All right. But this does look like all's well that ends well. And promises made, attainment, expectations, uh, and being nice and cozy woozy with them again. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Page of Wands. So they see you as very sexy but they feel like you're kind of ignoring them or saying uh-uh definitely not or that you're acting helpless this is somebody that wants to try to see if the two of you can be together i will commit now i see the light okay so they have this epiphany that they can make things better but they feel like you're going to shun them or feel like you are going to reject them like they got, like you need more time. They just feel like you're going to not really do nothing. All right. But they do feel like the ball's in your court and that you have to make up your mind. And they might feel like you've already made one decision. Are you going to change your mind? Is this person going to be able to go back and stop? You know, because it's like, I, I see you possibly getting attention from other people and I don't like it. No, they're having a hard time thinking that you might be enjoying some other activities with other people. How do you see them? All right. No. All right. Ooh. <laughs> okay. We're going to leave that just like that because basically it's like you ghosted my ass. You abandoned me. You neglected me. And you felt the need to possibly... Mm. Mm -mm. One more. Okay. Oh, you are pissed. Okay. Ooh. What's under that? Because I'm nosy. Oh, okay. So, you've been hit by a smooth criminal. Michael Jackson song. You remember it? If you do, you're in my age bracket. Cool. But this is like smooth criminal. Definitely somebody that can, feels like they can gaslight you into anything. It's like, it makes you feel like you're not good enough. It makes you feel on edge, like you want to throat punch them. And yet, you know they're good at talking the talk and walking the walk. So what's the likely outcome here? Could have been a hoe too. Just saying. I don't think you're giving them the time of day. It's like, you led me on. <laughs> and I don't see you changing. It's like, I'm sorry, devil. But you go struggle with the shit that you have done. You were tempted by the fruit of another, and nah, you're not going to manipulate my ass anymore. You corrupt asswipe. You basically, it's like, I, I, I'm done. I'm done. It's you saying, uh uh, I'm not going to live in limbo. You're, you're just living in the past, and I'm done. And you mean it. It's like, I'm emotionally cutting you off. So no more leading me on. No more taking me for granted. No more, no more taking your your freaking Snickers into a different galaxy. You know it's not working for me. You you are the one that walked away from me. You wanted fucking silence. I'll I'll give it to you in spades. And they're going no. I'm gonna really no. You're not giving the no. Too bad. So sad. You aren't going to give them the time to. But I'm having such a hard time seeing that mother others might want you. Well. Choice made. You're shunned. You're blocked. You're done. Okay. I meant it too. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Four of Cups. Knight of Arads. 
All right, this person sees you as not interested in their song and dance anymore. Okay, and actually loving yourself. So you're kind of not really giving them the time of day. They still have feelings of lust towards you, big deal. And they still see you as the right person for them. This is somebody that is going to say, I'm going to be more dedicated. I won't be out partying. I'll, I'm going to behave myself and do right by you. It's a blockage. Mm. All right. This person hurt you. They're an emotional manipulator and you're trying to heal. Queen of Cups reverse can be somebody that is uh, very good at making you feel guilty. Like uses shitty, bitter words to emotionally hurt the other person and manipulates to try to get their way uses emotions to do so it's like you know i cared about you and you did this it's like guilt trip central and this would be like i'm trying to heal from you dumbass all right one more for there and there i just feel like you're kind of going go away i don't care how uh, it's almost like they say one thing and then they really bomb out. So they give you like a, a one try and then they don't even put the effort into it. I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. Oh, I should go fuck myself. Oh, well then just forget I even said anything, bitch. You know, it's like they lose co <sighs> their insecurities are their problem. What's a likely outcome? I'm here. Okay. You, it just looks like you lose interest in this because this person doesn't actually put the work into it. They're lazy. Three of pentacles reversed and the knight of cups. It's like you're a fucking heartbreaker. Possibly led astray by another person. Doesn't have to be. But it's like this connection it does not work for me. It's not workable. I don't care anymore. I can't count on you. You're chronically hurting my feelings and I'm done with it so the guilt trips and all the bullshit that you've gone through and it's just like you almost know that they're just going to pull the same I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that and we're going to be together and I feel this way and I really have feelings no 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 you're a borderline player and you're trying to mm -mm, no they're going to end up going the wrong direction anyway no don't give them the opportunity all right, let's call it the Majors. Aquarius. Pisces, Cancer, Libra, Leo. Pisces, Cancer again. I'm having such a hard time. Well, maybe you need a laxative or a suppository or something. All right, then we got Taurus, Leo heavily, Capricorn, Cancer heavily. What else signs are in here? A lot of fire and a lot of FU too. All right, Libras, that's what we have for you and on we go. Scorpios, if you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Source. All right. One, two, three. Well, nothing like just jumping on in. This person doesn't, I mean, they see you as not wanting to be vulnerable or very sketchy about them. Like, a, like you don't trust them. How they feel about you, they feel... <clears throat> this can be two different things. Let me clarify. Clarify the four of ones. All right. They feel like you're footloose and fancy free, and yet you do not trust anybody. It's like you're always thinking that people make excuses. They might think that you're, or feel that you're a little bit self-righteous, and you're always stirring up drama, possibly not keeping promises, and yet they're coming in with their zipper open for a little fling. Really? Try the Ace of Wands. They still want to take a chance with you. Maybe try to change your mind. How do you see them? Ooh. You see them wanting to nurture a connection, but you still might might 
think that they're a little bit too much of a child. Like they're not going to actually follow through, but boy, it sure looks like it. So if they take it slow, but they really do see you going, I don't like this. And this is freedom in this case. You wanting your freedom, you like to go out and have a good time. This is not settling down. This is feeling like I can't trust anybody. I don't know. But you see them really kind of going, no, we're going to nurture this. And we're going to start small. And you're going, yeah, okay, you're good looking maybe. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, you got the Queen of Cups. It does look like you will give this person an opportunity. And as long as things are reciprocated and good and that they act like an adult, that things would go okay. But you are going to play hard to get. Good for you. We like it. It is not going to stop them. They're still going to try. They're like, I know you got trust issues. It's okay. It's okay, honey. I'll help you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Seven of coins. The chariot. Let's hope your car don't break down like that one looked like it wants to. Okay, so this person's made up their mind. That's great. What are they going to do? Queen of Wands. They have made up their mind. They're very intense. I want your attention. I've made up my mind. Nothing could tear me away from you. I want you. But they, they might be a little bit seeing you kind of guarded. But they want to change between the two of you. This is somebody that feels like you're constantly very determined, but constantly possibly on the go. Oh, and ignoring the ass. So it's, you basically are going, I'm determined to ignore your ass. And this person's going, I don't know what to do. They, they think about you and they go, I don't know. I don't know what the hell to think. But they do want to try to do something this is like i'm determined i know you're fucking ignoring what's the blockage what's the blockage nine of cups all right was this person into partying do they have a depression issue did one need to have more attention than the other we take the sun and reverse it we got the queen of coins and the nine of cups that can be partying too much. We will say that. And with the queen of pentacles, that can be somebody that smothers the other, the other mother smother, or is uh, slowly the feelings just drizzle to nothingness where it's all work and no play. But the sun can be the one partner may need more attention than the other one can give. And there's pressure to play this big role in your life and wanting improvements and feeling sad about not having things your way. And they're kind of like, they see you as somebody that could make anything you wanted happen and hold them back. They, they basically are like, I feel like you're fucking ignoring me and you're just determined to move on your merry way. But they are going to do it. They're afraid that they're not going to get your attention. And you are going, no, 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 I don't, I don't see this going anywhere. I'm pissed. You don't make good choices. You feel like they're um, full of shit and that they make very bad choices and that you never know what mask they're going to be wearing. You don't have any want to to even talk to this i will cut your head off you come near me i don't want to mm -mm. i got some really shitty words for you three of pentacles i can't rely on you and the seven of wands reversed is like a big not happening you might have been insecure or that you felt jealous and you're kind of going i'm done with that loser you make me feel insecure I'm tired of this, and I'm not going to be vulnerable. I'm not willing to, to lower my guard. I don't want to. I don't want to do nothing with you. Go away. But you could be putting the moves on somebody else. Now they're going, shit. Didn't see that happening. But as far as they're feeling, they feel like you are abandoning them. 
really fast and very furious. The fast and the furious. Furious and the fast. And they they just, they know. It's like, I want your attention. And you're like, choice made, done. Oof. Very confusing energy. What's the likely outcome? Okay, well, that's pretty self-explanatory. Ten of Cups reversed and judgment. This person screwed up this connection. Could have been a homewrecker, but you're just done with it. It's like I, I've learned my lesson well, and I'm not going to give you a second chance. Not happening. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Ten of Pentacles. This person thinks you've got it all going on. Lovers reverse. This person feels like you might be interested in another person. Ace of Swords. They want to talk. Why the lovers reversed? Okay. No, this seems like somebody that had walked away from you and changed their mind. So they were tempted by the fruit of another. Or feel like you did. Did this person walk out reversed? No. Reversed? No, they didn't. So, did Scorpio walk away? Reversed, yes. And it's the Hermit reversed. It's like, I want to be single. I want to be by myself. I'm not into this shit. So they feel like the connection between the two of you is suffering. But the, lovers, the, the lovers reverse can be just like, there's compatibility issues. It doesn't have to be that there was dishonesty or betrayal. It's kind of like, confusion and not getting along and it's a indecision about being together and it's like a, a break in the communication possibly like codependent co co dependent and seeing things in a very distorted way and the actual blockage is all talk no action and some major shitty words. So it's like you basically said your piece that this person didn't put any work into anything, that they're fucking lazy, that they get a roaming eye, that they get preoccupied, they give up way too easy. And like nothing's good enough for them. And it's like now it's too little, too late. Might feel like there's a little bit of player action going on with this person, but you're pissed and you're like, I'm walking away. I'll put your face up on a dart board. Oh, look, there's a hole I can dip you in. <laughs> Drop them in the hole. Hole, hole, hole. I don't want to see it. <laughs> Arguments. Arguments, and you're feeling like this is just like, you're not attempting to do shit if you're going to fight with me all the time. Ouchity. So they're coming in with the big truth sword, and they're going to be more responsible. Hmm? You're iffy. You're kind of like, I don't know. You know, I've heard this shit before. I got to think about it. Either way, this person would have to be a lot more flexible. But they see you as long term. And Nine of Pentacles, it's like, I don't want to be single. I want the long term. And you're going, things would really have to change. Here's the fuck up flowers. Oh, very nice. And this one's got a ring. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Oh, ho, ho. And you're here with the drink of treat going, yeah, you know, we got super stud over here. And then we got the salt and pepper over there. Ah, you know, moderation. A little bit of you, a little bit of you. No, I'm kidding. But this is the potential of reconciliation and trying to work things out. But they got to come at you right. So it's like there is a resolution here. Things can change. And it does look like they really mean business. You're hopeful. So it's like slow, slow, because you're having a hard time opening up, but willing to hear them out. So let them bring the fuck up flowers. Maybe they're going to offer that damn ring. But this is promising. It's like I have high expectations. This, you know, these things need to happen. Um, promises are promises. But, you know, if you're actually putting the work into it, then it's like expectations being met. And there's a lot of hope and faith in this. So, th I mean, this looks good. It does look like you kind of gave them a potential ultimatum, told them they had to change, but it does look like they follow through. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. 
Oh, screw this shit. Okay, so this person likes to hang out, have fun, screw around, screw whoever, and they, they're just looking, they're attention hole. They're superficial. They just want attention. They got a big head and don't think in the wrong way here. But this is somebody that's just going to lead you on. Hey, let's get drunk and screw. Let's just have a big old party. And then I lead you the wrong way. And then I go running scared. Eight of swords. Kind of like, no, I don't want to see you ever again. I was drunk and I did the walk of shame and I don't want to. No. It's the actual blockage. Three of swords. It's a hooker. You got a hooker. They're a heartbreaker. I'm sorry, guys. This is just jackass central. Three of swords. Hurtful. Third party bullshit. This can be a swoony, swoony. Makes you, you know, swoon. And they make promises that they don't keep. And they look real good, but from afar. But far from good. Yeah, kind of like that. This person is going to disappoint you. They get bored. And then they close off. And then you're like, what? Why? What? What? It's confusing. What's the likely outcome here? All right. So there's too much confusion and wondering what the, what the hell. I mean, you can't even say this is making plans because everything's all up in the air. I would like something from this, but what are you, a fucking run? I don't want to fucking run. But they sure the hell are. They're a big pussy. Okay, that came out wrong. They don't have any balls okay well that came out wrong too um they're a wuss and they need to have i think deep down they have insecurities and that's why they they tend to run away so that they don't get hurt but that doesn't make it right what they're trying to do and then they they ghost you and <clears throat> they freeze up and everything's up in the air there is no actual yes, no, maybe so here or an outcome. You're going to have to make up your mind. Seven of Cups. You're going to have to flip that and decide what's best for you. And if this person's not the right one, you're going to have to let them know. I'm not wasting my time with this. You make me feel too restless. I don't want to be the back burner babe. I, if you're out oh, partying and having a good time, that's great. But that's not for me. So you might have to lay the law down and keep your legs crossed. You know, they say an aspirin in between your knees. That's what my mother used to tell me. If you're going out, put an aspirin between your knees and you better come home with it. <laughs> really? Yeah, that didn't work. That didn't work. All right. Let's see what we have for majors. Leo. Cancer. A lot of fire in here. Libra, Taurus, Aries. You guys, I got some interesting energy. Aquarius, Gemini, all right, but all signs are in there. A lot of cups, too. So, water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Let's see what oh. it's at the bottom of the deck now. Two of Cups. That can be a new beginning. Just saying. All right. That's what we have for you, Scorpios. And on we go. Sagittarius. If you are dealing with another Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Source. Okay. How this person sees you. Hmm. Oh, boy. Feelings action okay then why the tower this person's having a hard time trying to get over you they feel like they can't get enough of you this person feels like they they want to come clean they want to be honest with you they want to show you who they truly are they also might feel like they're fucking busted and that you see them for who they truly are and that they need to come clean with you because they've been outsmarted mm. what's the blockage what's the blockage that ain't good mm -mm. this person got restless so they went to play judgment reversed okay so you decided it was okay to 
fall into old patterns and like you weren't ready for this connection. So it was a failure and you, you felt sorry for yourself and now you feel guilty and too little, too late. Wake up, smell the coffee, you were too restless. How do you feel about this person? Yeah, one more. You feel like they ignore the problem that that uh, you don't feel like they're worth holding on to to begin with. But with the moon here reversed, you're kind of going, you know what? I'm not going to be anxious about this shit. I'm not going to deal with your lies and deception. I see things for what they truly are. You might act like we had a misunderstanding. I feel like I th see things quite fucking clearly and you ignore the problems. You just feel like everything should just go bye bye. One more for the reaction with the Ace of Cups. No, nah, I just don't feel like this per They're coming in to try. They're not holding back. They might even act like they're irritated or vain. It's like, really? You're going to try and be bossy with my ass? <laughs> That's a likely outcome. Nope. That's you not taking any action or saying, piss off, manipulator. It's like, I'm not playing your games anymore, you sneaky devil. Nope. Uh, nope. But they're having a hard time getting over you. Well, they should have thought about that. Is there regret? It's almost like you get to see karma. Kind of like that. All right. Very good. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Shot through the heart. And you're too blame. You give love a bad name. Really? Okay, so I can't stop thinking about you. I'm dwelling on the past, but I feel like you want nothing to do with me. Really. They feel like you are avoiding them, and they see you going, no more. I've been stabbed too many times. I'm over this crap, and you need to think and take a breather. So what's the blockage? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, one more. Home wrecker, home wrecker, home wrecker. Who are they talking to? Possibly online. And then, uh, oops, um, I'm just going to kind of try to dodge what we should be talking about because I don't want the arguments. So I walked out on this and you uh, locked the door after I left and now you don't trust me. Why? Why don't you trust me anymore? Like, did you lose interest in me? Probably. Because there was something that this person's like almost, I mean, this would be the type of person that would be like, no, there wasn't anything emotional about this person that I screwed. It was purely sex. And you're going, oh, so don't even go there. How do you feel about this person? Your feelings. You are hurt. You are done. I, no, look at this, cut of the deck, bottom of the deck. I need to walk away, it's the best thing for me. You are a major fucking letdown, I'm so disappointed. I know there's something better out there, I have to turn my back away. I feel like I've been rejected and I can't really take much more of this, there's gotta be something better. And you feel like this person's guilty as hell and that they broke your fucking heart and you've really had enough. I've had it. You're holding a grudge. It's like, emotionally, forget it. You made me feel jealous, though I'm bitter. I'm off limits. Please go the fuck away. I will express myself however I want to, but you could have busted them online, and you want a break. You know, give me a Kit Kat bar. I don't trust you. They know you don't trust them, but they... they. One more for action. It's almost like they're trying to throw memories at you. Yeah, they're still going to try. I'm going to give you more attention, really, because uh, you think you're the boss of the project. I don't want to deal with you. The Emperor reversed. It's like, no, 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 bossy person. You can't, no, you can't do this. It's like Mr. Confident, Ms. Confident. They think that you're going to have like makeup sex and you're going as if when pigs fly, you can do whatever the hell you want. But I'm, I'm over this. You gave me a big headache. You are street smart to this person it's like you think that you're coming in here and having so me it's not happening no no faith in you at all anymore ouch they're, they're gonna try though what the hell bad 
Mojo, holy crap. All right. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Good juju, please. Guess not. Why the King of Pentacles reversed? This person's uh, seeing you as changing your ways, changing your mind, but they don't feel like the two. Oh boy. They feel like they're going to get their ass chewed out, but that you do not want them back. They feel like uh, you might just be out celebrating, having a good old time, saying, ding dong, the witch is dead. Their action. They're a candy ass. They're, there's no determination. They've just, they're off course. They're a coward. They don't have the balls to actually face you. So what is the blockage? Okay. Nah, their their Snickers bar went into a different galaxy. They fucked you over, and yet they ju they just keep repeating this bullshit pattern. This is lies and like a con artist, and the Ace of Wands reversed is somebody that is naughty. That well, I lost interest in you know having sex with you maybe they can't get their do a diddy up but there's a feeling of incompatibility so they decided to unbalance the scales it wasn't fair it wasn't even steven it's like you cannot get away with just walking into it you screwed around mm -hmm. like the outcome see my ass as i walk away i'm not interested i don't think you have anything to offer that i want Oh, not even going to friend zone your ass. Not even. And it could have been that somebody was a fake friend to you and screwed your your, your significant in a non-significant other. It definitely could have been a friend or somebody that you were aware of or you just knew who it was. But this is like major screwed over central and they knew. I will throat punch you if you even dare ask. Ooh, they know you mean it, too. Goodness. Source, good juju for Earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Good juju, good juju. We'll start with that. That ain't too shabby. So this person sees you as somebody that they could work with. They might see you as somebody that is a hard worker. Their feelings for you kind of go back and forth, but they do want, they, they do want this to go well between the two of you it's like i have i i have uh, my interest lies with you and i just kind of want to make progress i'm trying to get the courage up to ask you out mm -hmm. all right so they're gonna inflate their nads and see where this can go it's like i want to take you out i want to be acknowledged by you what do you think of them all right, you got the fool, and at the bottom of the deck, I think you would at least feel them out. I didn't say you had to feel them up, but here, this is somebody that you would feel comfortable with. You would feel the conversation goes well. You would feel like they have some, you know, maybe they're bringing flower, flowers and offering you something on a date, but it's like, I would like to see where this can go. You're curious, is this going to be the next person that I date? How does this move forward? Happy, happy, joy, joy, being taken seriously. So, I mean, that in itself looks pretty damn nice. At the bottom of the deck, there can be more than one option. It's going to make you think, but one or the other could be a, an inappropriate crush on a boss or some crap like that. Definitely something that you need to sway away from. Um, whoever this is here would be more like a co-worker than a boss. And it would be a shitty boss too, by the way. But this can be that you got your eye out, but this is a go for it. The two, when you're single, this is a big go for it. Don't sit there and mumble to yourself and think this might not be worth it because it sure looks like it pays off. Happy, happy, joy, joy, wishes granted. And you are this person's wish. They're just kind of biding their time going, how do I go about this? I want this to go well. They're playing, you know, the usual dating game. I like you. I want to play splashy, splashy. Okay. Well, at least you had something in there that was decent. 
My gosh, Virgo. Hairball. <laughs> Cancer, Pisces, Leo, Capricorn, Scorpio, Gemini, Aries, Libra heavily, Cancer heavily, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. All right, my Saggies, that's what we have for you. And on we go. Capulets, if you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sag. Okay. That was quick. One, two, three. Bam, bam, bam. Clarify the nine. Clarify the nine of pentacles. All right. Okay, so this person wants to stay single. They feel like you're playing hard to get or that you are just are not interested. How they see you, possibly getting uh, attention from other people, having high expectations, and almost like too good to be true. How they feel towards you, they feel like you are stubborn as hell and that you just are not willing to cave at all. So let's blockage here. I don't think you're interested. One more. Okay, clarify the tower. You are just not, not digging this at all. This is basically like this person offers you love and you're going, not a chance, not a chance. I, I don't feel like this is going anywhere. You might feel like this person drinks too much and you do not want to be like a, um, lost the word, lost the word, rebound. It's like, I don't want to be a, a rebound. This would not make me content. And they're going, but I want more than that. And you're going, no, I really don't think so. Because this is somebody that's like, they think you're playing hard to get, but I don't think you trust them. You're kind of going, I'm kind of watching you. I don't really know about you. How do you feel towards this person? You're not even giving it. It's like, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Not giving you, not, not, just not. <laughs> and it's like big fat, no. You, you feel like there's, it's like, I don't want to plan on anything with you because I'm just trying to be more chill and less anxious and not going to be a rebound. And they feel like you could be plain conceited and, but you're definitely going boring, not dealing, don't trust. Mm -mm. Something about them, you just are not interested. Why aren't you interested? Okay. You you're ju you just don't... F boredom. It's like you, you're trying to be honest with this person and being like... You're nicely saying, you're not my type. You know, this person could be all work, no play, and very boring, but you're you're just not into it. All right, putting those back in the deck. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. So this person sees you as somebody that is very inspired to take action. You inspire them. They think you're sexy. Mm, they think naughty things about you. Mm, it's like I'm addicted to you. You're so good in bed. I can't even. I can't even believe it. Okay, so they want a second chance. This is like here I come. Time to make or break it because they're clinging to the past. The blockage is a big ego, somebody that gets attention from other people, or that they had a roaming eye. Roaming eye. Lack of foresight. This is somebody that could have hesitated, had a moment of, uh, oops, mm -hmm, pulls away for a third party type of influence. And there's that roaming eye. And then they're not happy with their choice because what the fuck? And now they see you. Well, I want another opportunity with you. You're like, really? Um, I don't want to deal with you. I can we just not go there? I don't know what the hell to expect from you. I see you for who you truly are. You're confused if you think I'm... How do you feel? 
disappointed pouty not over this person disappointed again it's like i miss you but i don't know if i can do this again it's like you want me to you want me just to forgive and forget it's a likely outcome oh that's a no at the very least you're delaying it's like you ain't getting no nookie and we're not going there i'm i'm gonna kind of a little at a time because it's like i lack any patience when it comes to you you've basically given the feeling of weighing down but you are really disappointed and you're playing the pody and feeling very frustrated by this person but did they let you down now they want to come back now they're saying you'll forgive me no it's great i'm, I'm really going to work on it this time they feel like you're worth the effort well that's special but Really? Is it just because you're good looking? Is it just because you're good in the sack? Doesn't seem like they have any earnest longevity to them. Like, where the hell is the Ten of Pentacles? No. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Ooh, boy. This person thinks that you're a bit much. And they're brokenhearted. And yet they want to party and get back together, possibly. Why? The three... Okay, this feels more like their party and got them in trouble because you then saw them for who they truly were. And, um, yeah, not good. This is a third party. I mean, the Three of Swords with the Lovers is definitely somebody that had made a bad fucking choice but still feels like the two of you should be together. Your energy at the bottom of the deck, you're kind of going, you selfish prick. And they they feel like well you're a bit much you you have such you expect so much of me. They could have addiction issues too. How you see them, you're not taking any chances with them. You're basically saying piss off, go away. I don't want to talk to you. And you feel like they're a bossy asshole. They're too reckless. You're not taking the chance. It's like I'm not I'm not gonna not going there again and with the five here it's like i'm really better off not talking to you you rejected me you you left me you walked out you made me feel like shit you ghosted me whatever the case is and they're looking at you like you you're you're the batshit crazy no that's somebody that doesn't want to take accountability for their own damn actions and I just feel like this person was a player and unpredictable and you never knew what the hell and put you in the position of feeling jealous and why the hell would you want to go there again? You don't feel like you can rely on them. No, thank you. No. The most you would give them is hallway sex where you say fuck you to each other and that's it. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right, this person sees you as seeing them as a waste of fucking time. And they feel like... You might be a little bit on the arrogant side. They think you're the one that is a disappointment. And they're done. Isn't that nice? Now, I don't know. Let's say this person sees you as not taking any chances. They might have felt like you were all talk and no action. They could be talking shit behind your back. But they're basically like, this isn't even worth nothing. What the hell is this? The blockage is, you got two, the blockage is they don't know, third party possibly, but they don't know how to, it's a lack of a foundation. This can be a home wrecker type thing, but that's, that's bad communication and lots of tension and somebody's nose in there and lack of trust and some major gossip. It's a likely outcome. Healing. I just feel like... At the bottom of the deck, you're going, no. Take your sorry ass away from me. You twist the truth. You left me behind. You make promises that you break, and then you make excuses for it. Ouch, ouch, ouch. You guys really got slammed. What do we have for absolutely singles? Absolutely singles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right. Their interest in you is the page of pentacles they want things to go smooth did they just leave something else reversed yes no they did not 
but I would say they want to take things slow. They want things to go very slow. They're transitioning. They're kind of a plan. So it's like you, you'd know what to expect from them. They want to start real small. You feel like they've got some challenging boundaries, but you don't feel like they're going to be the type of person that ever goes all the way with it, or you don't feel like you get along with this person. It's like, do, do we really even have anything in common? You you believe in this and I believe in that. It's a feeling of not really being on the same page. It's like not for lack of trying. It's like you got some major challenging blockages and you got some very competitive attitude where you don't tolerate anything. But with the hair font reverse, it's kind of like you might feel like this person's kind of judgy. And doesn't have any faith and they they might be unethical and make you feel misled and also can be somebody that just is in another connection you don't trust it I just asked what the blockage is okay so that basically you saying I'm not gonna be a fucking homewrecker and then we take this one and say you gave this is the type of person that gives up too easily and they make you exhausted make you feel like a fucking homewrecker it's like, uh-uh, you got a broken family type bullshit going on and you deal with it yourself. You guys got screwed bad. I'm so sorry. Ay, ay, ay. <sighs> What's after this bonehead? All right, a retreat. One more. All right, and then finding something with more balance. Getting an opportunity. It's just going to take a little more time. You got pentacles here. So pentacles are longer. I hate to say that, but yeah. Taurus. Scorpio. Aquarius. Cancer. And somebody you are definitely better off not even talking to. Aries, Pisces, Cancer, Gemini, Sagittarius. And how dare somebody call you out like you're not balanced and you're whacked in the head and you've got issues. Really? Capricorn trying to make you look bad. That's, mm -mm. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. All right. All signs are in there. Let's hope for a better reading next time. My apologies. On we go. Aquarius. If you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sag. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Ten of Swords reversed. Four of Wands reversed. And the Eight of Swords. Woof, this person's playing the victim. Why the Ten of Swords reversed? Seven of Swords. So this person was... Uh, Basically, they're, I mean, they're not over you, but they feel like you're holding back, that you're tiptoeing around and not really giving them an answer. Their feelings for you, they feel like you have given up on them and that you just have no interest in trying to reconcile. Why the Eight of Swords for action? They're trying to heal. Now, keep in mind, roles can be reversed. What's the blockage? What's the blockage? Two of Cups. Who got in the middle of this by playing flirty flirty with somebody else cut of the deck we got the two of wands reversed do you feel like this person has a roaming eye and you might have like let them have it and then walked away saying you know what you you're you're just a sneaky little fool and you got a wandering eye and then you weren't happy with your choice anyway and you think you can just come back my choice is made up i, I don't feel like you want to give this person the opportunity They've definitely got some regrets here, but they're not doing anything. They they feel like you just have shunned them, that you don't have any hope in them at all, and that, the, you know, the two of you are n never, never, never getting back together, and it's because of what they did. How do you feel towards this person? Hurt. And there's that two of wands. So you basically said there's too many people up here to begin with. And you don't know what the hell you want. You need to make up your mind. You hesitate. You're not patient enough. And then you isolate and then go out playing drinky, drinky treats and then run into a major problem. And now you're playing the victim. Bad idea. 
So that's basically saying not happening. It's likely outcome. Just for giggles. Cut them loose. Cut them loose. The hangman reverse, this person's never going to offer anything long term. It's almost like they're just a large child in a big playground. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Well, Jesus. This person sees you, uh, they feel like you're extremely stubborn. And they feel like you're playing hard to get. With the Ten of Pentacles reversed, they see you not wanting to settle down or possibly just out of a different connection. They see you as a new opportunity, but they know you are very headstrong. Okay, but they still want your attention. They feel like you're good looking. They feel like, hey, this might be definitely something that I'm interested in. So let's see one more for the High Priestess, because that would be basically staying quiet. Don't like that. <laughs> um, I'll screw you, but it's got to be a secret. What the fuck? What's the blockage? Little fortune. They are going against the flow. Four of swords. This is going to be somebody that ends up making you feel like you get blocked. It's a fucking run. Screw that. No, don't screw that. So eventually they'll ghost you back way the hell off and you'll be going what the hell just happened full start no closure it's like same old toxic games and bullshit that this person plays on other people but i feel like this is a newer happening like you're not talking a very long-term person and they feel like they can what possess you are you an object i'm sorry i don't think so and yet sex on the side is on the sly how do you feel all right no fucking way but it does seem like you thought this could be i say i thought we were getting to know each other i thought this could have gone somewhere and now you're like no you're full of crap you hope they get some karma throat throat punching wouldn't be necessarily out of bounds either with the queen of swords reversed you definitely have made up your mind you are judging them you're holding a grudge a major grudge and you feel like bitter and you feel like what the hell why am i being punished i'm not looking for trouble and trouble finds me yeah and they feel like you're not the type to settle down with no, thank you. No, thank you. Good juju. Good juju. Good juju. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Tower reverse. The Ace of Pentacles. One more. Nine of Pentacles. Why the Tower reversed? Chariot. All right. Mm, I don't feel like this person's seeing you as ready to settle down. Three of Cups. This is somebody that feels like you would be fun to be with and that you might have something to offer, that you're looking for something that would eventually turn into long term. But what they want to do, their action is definitely saying you end up not being their type. What the fuck is that? The blockage is death. No, I feel like they're going to be a, a heartbreaker. Look at that. Putting you in the position of I thought we were going somewhere. Now I'm all obsessed about why this is, why are you an asshole? And why did you break my heart? And why are you closed off emotionally? And are you not over your ex? This is my ex-girlfriend, ex-boyfriend card. And this person here, what? They think you're a fucking rebound and then they're out? No. But you're fun to be with. I know you want something, but I'm not giving it to you. Because I'm not over my ex, so I'm staying single. No being rebounds. No, thank you. All right. Good juju. Taurus, Virgo, Peppercorn. Four of Pentacles. Not a good start. Nine of Wands. Queen of Wands. Okay, so this person definitely wants to get your attention. They feel that you're nervous about them uh, how they see you is somebody that's a bit closed off one more 
wanting to be happy, possibly just looking for a good time. That's how they see you. And very guarded. And really wanting your space. Smile Queen of Wands. King of Cups. This person wants to offer something emotionally stable. They're kind of weighing out the risks and the rewards. And they're, they're trying to be careful not to get swept up. They can be a little bit mysterious and emotionally shy. But this person's like, I have feelings, but I have to hesitate. I don't want to show you because you might not be interested. But I'm interested in you. How do you feel? Six of Cups. All right. And the Page of Pentacles. I, I think they've got it all wrong, honestly. It, it's almost like, don't assume what I may or may not want. This would be having some communication with this person because it does look like you could see making new memories with this person. This can be somebody that you had known long ago or dated for a while, but I don't feel like it was anything that actually was long-term at the time. And they could have gotten the impression that you just weren't interested, that you wanted to be a loner by yourself. And you're going, whoa, we need to talk here. This is really not what I'm all about. Um, yeah, we're friends, but I'm still kind of going, where could this go with the moon? One more. What do you actually want with this person? All right. You would like to see them actually put some work into it, some backbone. You got the Three of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. Now, you might feel like this person's a little bit too guarded or that they get irritated easily or have a chip on their shoulder about something from the past. But with the Three of Coins, it's like, okay, things don't have to be the way they used to be. We can try to get on the same page. In some ways, I feel like we are on the same page. What's at the bottom? Knight of Wands. So you're sexually interested in this person. You're playing the coy, cute flirt and wanting to see where this goes. See what we get with a cut. And it does look like you're willing to take things slow. But it's also telling me that you might have more than one opportunity. So this person better shit or get off the pot. I mean, it does. <laughs> There's another one. There's another one. So you might be putting this person a little bit in the dark because it's like, I've got all their alternatives. I really am interested in you, but you better you better make a, a your presence known or other people might be interested. Sorry, dude, or do that. So it does seem like you're like, let's sit down and have a, let's have a powwow. Let's talk this out. Let, you know, I, yeah, we're friends, but I would like there to be more. And, I, and I'm just kind of like, I have no idea what the hell you're thinking. And there's other opportunities. So it's like, if you don't put the work into it, even if it's going slow and then we take things real slow, that would be fine. And they really have it in their mind that you're holding back emotionally. Holding back emotionally. And that you're just all about a good time and maybe not a long time. They've got, it's like they have the wrong impression of you completely all right so but i mean come on you got the king of cups there are feelings there that have been festering under the surface virgo pisces cancer gemini scorpio cancer scorpio Libra, Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, Aries, Pisces, a lot of water, Sagittarius. All right, but all signs are in there. Very interesting energy, guys. Well, that's what we have for you, and on we go. Pisces, how you bees? All right, if you're dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Okay, how this person sees you. Very guarded. Very sexy. They think you're sexy. They want to touch you. And their action, you're going to shit your pants. They want to rock your foundation and take you down. They attempted. They think you're leery.
but hot. All right, so let's see what's up with the Leary. It's also seeing you as somebody that's street smart and they can't pull one over and they feel like you've got the Midas touch. That's a, um, the High Priestess in this deck. So they feel like you're seductive. Possibly they're hoping that you're single, but they're trying to use their instincts because they, they really feel like you kind of pull back and like you're an onion. They got to slowly peel back layers to try to figure out what you are all about. You really got this person's head spinning. How do you see them? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. Maybe, maybe, maybe. You're curious about this person. It's like, I'm not sure I trust you yet. You're going to give them the Spanish Inquisition. But you got the, I mean, let's spend some time together. See how we click. Right, this is really nice. At the bottom of the deck, you have the world. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. This feels like a new beginning, and you've got this person just thinking you are like a goddess, Adonis. Take your pick. And very, very sexually interested in you. It's almost like this person thinks you shit rose petals. I mean, wow. And with the cut of the deck and still your energy, we have the two of cups. So that would feel that the two of you would reciprocate, be on the same page at the same time. But boy, they want to take you down to Pound Town. I mean, really, holy crap. It does seem like you're giving this an opportunity, and they think you are sexy as hell. But very, very street smart. So it's like they can't pull one over on you. Can just be a Capricorn or a Scorpio, but man, they got it bad. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme some cupcake. Ooh. Fiery too. Mm -mm -mm. Gemini Libra Aquarius. Oh, two came out. We'll take it. How this person sees you. Kind of a heartbreaker that's trying to get attention. Mm. How they feel about you. They feel that you are possibly shallow and they feel like the two of you are just done. So are they calling you out for the third party? Mm -mm -mm. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed, but this person's basically like, you're an attention whore. Just screw this shit. You're looking for attention from everybody else, and you're a major fucking disappointment. You're a major fucking bell's kill. You hurt. You broke my fucking heart. What's the blockage? Did they suck in the sack? I'm just saying, because this is looking like you weren't interested in the first place, and that they were kind of boring and that you just like never had a thing for them or that you lost the spark or there was really no hope of things happening. You felt like you were incompatible, that this wasn't any fun. You just weren't interested. So you weren't willing to, to and they're like, you broke my heart. And you're like, really didn't want to give you that impression. How do you see them? All right. Possibly talking shit and lies behind your back. And they make you feel kind of wound up and in your head, but it's just not something you want. I mean, you might have had interest at one point in time, but not anymore. You you got the like, so long, farewell, avida, zena, adieu, oh, gotta go. Five of cups. I It's a disappointment. I'm sorry I, if you feel like I hurt you, but... Um, I just got to move on. Hey, you're definitely moving on, possibly with somebody else that uh, you do have a pitter-pat in your heart going on, but it's not this person. And they're like, you broke my effing heart. And they're like, uh, so he kind of didn't really intend to, but they're, they were very heads lusty about you and really just wanted things to go somewhere, and you kind of went, eh, eh somebody else... All right, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Ooh, ooh. So you have the star. She looks demented. I gotta tell you that. You look at her eyes. Aren't they? You got that? All right, freaky girl. She's a freak. You know Shaggy, the Shaggy song. She's a freaky girl. Somebody like me. yeah. Okay, so this person's got it going on for you. They have high expectations. They see you as somebody that is hopeful. They see you as somebody that has 
lusty feelings and potential. They, they're like, I've got some faith in this. They might be at a distance at first, but they, they're hoping that you are an attainable goal. They're not doing squat. Uh-oh, you know what? This person might be in a connection. <gasps> we don't want that shit. It's like, oh, they're not interested in somebody else and therefore you'd be an option? Oh, oh, bad girl or boy. Blockage. Okay. No, thank you. Mm -mm. Y this would be another one. You'd be like, uh-uh, no way. Not touching this shit. You got the Ten of Swords reversed. It's like, maybe you're not over somebody else or that you're still in a connection, but I'm not interested in this shit. You can offer your do what diddy. It can be, no, mm-mm. I, I need to find happiness in somebody that's emotionally available. I'm not interested in this shit. But this, the blockage is, um, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, Like, wishful thinking, but definitely not available. No, you don't want to go there. It's like wishing, but not doing. The temptation's there, but I'm not going to indulge. It's like, I'm not going to be fooled by your shit. It's like, they possibly, you're unsure about this from the get-go. I just get this feeling that you're going... I just feel like it's better to be just friends with you because there's just, uh, you might hear from somebody else. I'd hold back if I were you, like a friend would tell you that it would only be sex and that's it because they're in another connection, possibly a baby mama drama bullshit game and who the hell wants that? How do you see them? We'll play. We'll play. Married. And still going to go back to that person. So this is just, you might meet this person online and they, they're they playing behind that person's back. That's crap. You see them as in a committed connection or should be. And it's like, oh, they're going to be like going for it and hitting on you heavy and then say, oh, I'm going back to my ex. Stay the fuck off the dating scene, idiot. Get off the online. Oh, but you're so... I see stars when... You'll see stars when I punch you. Ugh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Hello, Emperor. Heavy fire sign, Aries. Ooh. This person sees you as somebody very strong, very committed, very down-to-earth, very practical. They see you as very focused. They see you as somebody that wants a foundation and wants a family and how they feel about you. Lucky to be able to have an opportunity. Like wish granted, according to them. Okay, they are a little bit on the fence. You might feel a little bit like you're very potent and impotent. I feel like they're going to start small with little flirties because they and this can be somebody that works under you like you're their boss just saying and if you're single this is like all four kings in one and meeting somebody soon i mean it's very exciting but they see i mean come on they feel like you're their wish granted barf puke nice they f would feel satisfied to be able to get to know you. They feel like things can really go somewhere that they would be pleased to be able to date you. And the pleasure would be off the charts. They would want to serve you to satisfy you. Um, let's see what you think. How do you see this person before I get too crazy here? All right. They could be... It's almost like it's hard to, to decide what the hell they want. I mean, you're interested, but you're not sure what the hell they want. So you might see them as somebody that has resting bitch face. Don't assume that this person isn't interested because it does look like you're interested in them. And we're talking some, you know, let's go out and spend some time together. How does this move forward? Ooh, hello. Ooh. So this does feel like the two of you would have something in common and this could definitely go forward. I, I'm not even going to bother flipping any more cards because this looks really nice. You've got the lover's card here. So being on the same page at the same time. Yes, yes, it can be a soulmate. But come on, we're talking about somebody new. So it's a meeting a new lover, having healthy boundaries, 
mutual feelings of interest and you're being emotionally smart you're being emotionally available but being smart so weighing out the pros and cons of being with this person but i mean they do seem to have a little bit of a rough edge about them that could be sexy who knows i mean that definitely can be somebody's like a uh, neanderthal grunt and you're like i don't give a shit you're so sexy i don't care <laughs> oh my god Woo! But it does seem like they're a little bit like, I don't know if the cupcake is interested in me. So I'm just going to do small flirties and messaging. But you would be their wish fulfillment. I mean, wow. But they do see you as somebody very bold, very strong, very loyal. So they want to get their paws on you. Let's call it the majors. Okay. No confusion. No baby mamas. Taurus. Libra, no bullshit games and uh, that being put on the back burner and no, no married people, no. Taurus, Aquarius, Libra, you guys are exciting, all kinds of exciting. Scorpio, Sagittarius, Scorpio again. Devil, naughty devil, fun, maybe fun. Capricorn, get the Midas touch. You got the Midas Gemini touch. I need a lover who won't drive me crazy. You guys got a fairly nice reading, I gotta be honest. And at the bottom of the deck, I, and this is nice too because it's showing you in, in your incoming energy being very realistic, being very grounded and saying these are my boundaries and thou shalt respect my boundaries or, you know, piss off. Standing up for yourself so that you don't have to worry about being jealous, not, not dealing with any of that crap. All right, you guys, very nice reading. We like yours. Okay, so that's what we have for you. Thank you so much for watching. Many blessings and hope to see you next time.